Well, hello, everybody, and a very warm welcome to Crafters TV. My name's Ben Mosby. Thanks for joining us. Middle of the week already. Happy Hump Day, or as we call it here in Crafters TV land, Happy Sheena Day! Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah, we're very excited uh, because Sheena is here. I will introduce you to her momentarily. Um, it's a big week this week. As you know, we are celebrating National Craft Month. So over on the website, um, we're giving you the opportunity to uh, get great deals. There's codes galore. The code this week is all for those soft crafters ncm sewing is going to be the code that you use on the website 30 percent off selected sewing and needle craft with that code um, and that kind of is a bit of a precursor to what's happening on friday with a double launch of soft craft goodies with becky swan as i said earlier in the week and they still laugh at me now this week is a launcher palooza yes it is it's more launches than you can shake a rocket at uh, because we've got launches each and every day uh, <laughs> we we are on launch number three today, the official launch of a brand new Sheena collection, which let me just tell you, has been flying already. It is phenomenal. I know a lot of people have been seeing those sneaky peeks which have been over on um, Sheena's page. We've been chatting about it a lot this week. It is finally here, it is live on the website. You can get the full collection, you can jump in and buy individuals. However, I would tell you to go fairly swiftly because before we even look around this and chat around it with Sheena, uh, we are approaching 15% of the collection stock gone out of here, disappeared. So uh, you know what to do. If you haven't yet seen it, you've come to the right place because you've got two hours to look all around it with um, the lovely Sheena, who no doubt is gonna wow and dazzle us with amazing demonstrations. So let's say hello to the lovely lady herself over at the other side of the studio. It is the one and only Sheena Douglas. How are you and what a collection? I uh, thank you. Hello, I'm hello. good. I'm looking forward to it. And um, I'm loving I'm loving that collection because you know what? It is bold, it's floral, yeah. and with an Art Nouveau theme. Ooh. Which is, I love a bit of Art Nouveau, mm. very Paris metropolitan. But what? What? Metropolitan. Met you, know, Met nice, Met you know the raw tie in and that, that lovely um, that art movement. Love it. So hopefully you do too. Works great with your memory card, with your embossing powder. Well, you'll see. Yeah, and I think that's the thing. And we'll have a look at some um, finished samples within just a second. But from the sneaky, peaky bits that I've seen um, on your Inkets page and the kind of finished samples I've seen there, lots of different styles that your team have been um, making finished samples with, which shows it to be a really, really um, crafty collection. Let's get the price up for you. And then we'll go through the boards with Sheena so you can see everything that you're going to get and some finished samples as well. This is the full collection that you're seeing just here so it's in the frame bold florals eight piece collection it is all your fantastic stamps it's all of your dies with your frames and sentiments and embossing folders as well sheena will take you through all um, in more detail in just a second but as you would expect from the fair hand of sheena it is a marvelous marvelous collection the artwork is second to none and it's one of those collections again you know you think florals you're going to use it year in year out for all sorts of different occasions great price on it as well when you see what you get bang for buck it's an incredible value price 56 pounds or 68 dollars is your platinum price on that don't forget if you're brand new to us or if you haven't shot before i know whenever sheena's on we always get like a, a new influx of viewers or people who just sort of pop in when sheena's with us so if you're one of those people and you think oh, i've never shot with um crafters companion before sign up today it's easy to do on our website uh, there's the website address down there and there you go there's the details sign up today receive 20 percent off your first order so you will pay that price there a few quick hellos and then we'll get into it with sheena we've got radical rachel on the socials uh, margaret's in saying happy 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 it's a sheena wednesday uh, sarah brown says hello again my dear crafty friends hoping you're all having a great wonderful day night morning evening wherever you are sending hugs to you all and especially the crew at ccv huge hugs to sheena and ben from melbourne australia g'day mate uh, lisa beecham says lisa hello beecham. everyone Oh, yeah. Happy Sheena Day. At uh, least I borrowed some of your pictures earlier on and put them on my page. I did, did, did give you a little photo credit, though. Yeah. I was expecting an email. What are you doing using my photos? Yeah, yeah Ben. What's yeah. that? Yeah. yeah. What are you doing? Oh. Um, I wanted to spread the Sheena love and uh, share the excitement. Mary Beth Doyle joins us. Uh, looking forward to seeing what Sheena's created. Christine Mahoney says, hello, everyone. I'm excited for this Sheena collection. I've already ordered the full collection and can't wait to get it. Jane's in in the West Midlands, excited for the collection. Dawn's in saying, hello, everyone. It's Ben and Sheena. Yay. <laughs> uh, Sherry Miller's in Oregon. Pauline Pitts says, I already bought it. You, I mean, that's why 15% of the stock's gone. Uh, and Christine Mahoney says, you look beautiful. 
Sheena. And Ben, you didn't iron your shirt today, huh? All oh, right, Christine. Oh, <laughs> uh, lol, just Wonderful saying that. Wonderful woman. <laughs> <laughs> just saying that because you said that's when you wear your waistcoat. I know, not always the case. Not always. All right, Jamie, shush. Anyway, we're not here to talk about my waistcoat. We're here to talk about this collection. Talk us through everything we're getting, Sheena. I it's shall. It's amazing. There's loads. I've got, you know what, I've got everything kind of planned out across the desk here because, um, yeah, it would take me forever to find. So here, let me show you again. It's dies, it's embossing folder, and it's stamps. So the first thing we're looking at... Oh, no, do not on the overhead. There oh. you go. What we've got is we've got... Um, We've got these gorgeous, like I say, very Art Nouveau-themed yeah. frames. Now, I'm just saying, if you're a, a, a canny crafter, which I know you are, you're going to be thinking these are going to work outside of this collection. These are worker ones. This is not just that look, that theme. This is all your other, all your other collections that you've got in your stash. You're going to use the portrait, you're going to use the landscape, and all your scenes and everything's going to go in there, and it's going to give it that gorgeous, delicate super fine theme there with the frame and then we've got this one here which you've got this gorgeous floral here which is going to be embossed feature in in here as well so a little bit of inking and leaves that you can color again that beautiful font with so they're the things that are going to really um uh, accentuate yeah. this, a sinuous kind of art nouveau look um, before we come to the stamps let me even show you the folders because that we will do the we've done the um the frames then there's the folder. So think of these as like the things that you're going to accessorize with, but they're not. These are amazing in their own right. They are um, fabulous uh, ginkgo leaf here, which is really cool. I had so much good fun drawing that one with all the little, again, little um, viney bits. You've got a gorgeous leaf that's kind of like a feather. Can you see the way kind of, um, it, it, it kind of the movement I got in there? I really, mm. really love that one. But look at what you can do with them. Look at when you, so you can ink up your folders. We're going to be doing something with an embossing folder first um, demonstration. That is a combination of a folder and the frame. I think that just looks magical. Check this out. So you've got the stamp there, but look at that. For an embossing folder. That's oh, that's a card there. Incredible. Just that card, that there. Yeah. With that wording on, fantastic. Amazing. So the folders work with the images, but they also work in their own right. They're just standalone folder folder. So you are going to be playing with these a lot. You're not gonna you're not gonna run out of ideas. Um, with oh. this. Isn't that stunning? Look, when you get the really light again. on. Really again. I didn't Ooh. expect that sort of flash wow, of colour. Wow, look at that. What? You could do Morse code with that one, couldn't you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you could. S O. <laughs> S. <laughs> Bring me chocolate. <laughs> so they're just the folders and the frames, right? So we pop them to one side. Then we get on to the floral elements, which oh, are yes. big, bold, um, again, with that fabulous Art Nouveau theme. So let's start with this one, the lilies. Um, you know, lilies, I love lilies. Um, and I'm just going to show you a card that it might be one of my all time favourite cards ever, 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 Lisa Beecham. What? Oh, OK, Lisa ever, Beecham. Ever, ever, ever. To me, that is perfection. -ion. Perfection. -ion -ion. Ion -ion -ion. Because it's elegant. Mm. It's just beautiful. Can I just show you that up close? Oh. Because she stamped and embossed this floral element here. Yeah. And if this doesn't get you loving this collection I, I, then I'll, I got nothing well I have a good I got more. nothing and the Both, show now I just have to say that you know I mean we're talking about it what you what you love someone else will love the, a different one but for me this just encompasses this whole collection it's all about that luxurious um, sinuous movement of the flowers I put more movement in the leaves to reflect that Art Nouveau style so, on, I'm struggling to understand this because it's so gorgeous how's that gold effect been achieved that frame this so stamped and embossed yeah and um, and it looks so Lisa's uh, painted it. She stamped it in Boston gold. We're going yeah. to be doing this this hour, so you'll see how that works. Wow. She's used a little bit of a glitter glue over them to give them that little bit extra twinkle. But just coloured the flowers, no background colouring, so it's not as quick as you... It's not as um, time-consuming as you think. And then with that gorgeous, ornate Murray card, I mean, this is where your luxury um, card stock pack will come in fabulously. Nothing on the background, a little bit of embossing on this um, in the background here and here. But it's all about that negative space. Mm. Imagine that as a wedding card, as a congratulations card, as a, any, any occasion birthday card. Stunning. But then you can go smaller format as well. So if you want to go more bold and turn it down to like a five by seven card works great then we've got um, a square format because mm. of course you're just going to change the elements now there's a lot more samples to look at a lot more fabulous um, creations wow, for you to look at 
and if you want to see them after this remember that there's the ink kit where you're going to see them all so let me show you so then we've got this um this is actually poppy style this one but depending on how you color it it's going to look different it could be any color flower we were just talking about this with maria flowers are much of a watch this until you change the color yes yeah you know one flower can look like another one it's just about the color that you create should mention these are photopolymer stamps as well so absolute top quality and this gorgeous one here i think this is debbie's um she's used the green um uh like a, a coated cardstock there and colored them in again in a traditional <gasps> poppy color but so that's good. it there's nothing else on the background just the stamp the, the and then and that's the card done so it's not going to take a long time to do that. oh uh, to do that you've got the smaller format then we've got the larger format i'm going to pick up the piece because we've got so much to look at yeah i love the white on white again look at that where we've got the white card for the frame and it just looks again so pretty these are pieces delicate. of art let alone car i mean they're just incredible uh, you know sheena i would absolutely do that ben put them on a wall yeah. and you know and and if you sell your, your cards it's full angel policy lovely please go ahead and do that and look at that look at how gorgeous and special that is so that's the next one we've got two more to go so i'm going to try and uh, like i say pick it up a little bit let's look at the daisies i love daisies so daisies they're just cheerful. They are happy. You know, they're happy. They're, mm. they're not pretentious flowers, are they? No, they're not. They're not like, you know, oh, look at me. It's like, <laughs> just grow me wherever. <laughs> I'm a daisy, you know, I'm take me or leave I'm me. I'm a daisy. Hiya, I'm Hiya. here. Yeah. Just grow me wherever, won't they? You yeah. know, they're happy. Um, <laughs> Oh, they're a happy flower and then but look smaller format again you've got look i love that size so if you want to go like a6 if you prefer a smaller card look at how it works for that stamped and embossed with white embossing powder colored in that's another quick technique yeah everything is in there for you to do that you just need to add your embossing powder your coloring product you're done but then if you want to do a little bit of 3d that looks very kind of antique doesn't it it looks like you know, like it would be like an old um, copper kind of, um, you know, uh, thing that you would find in an antique shop yeah. with a um, pattern in it. Um, you can see just plain coated cards. You don't have to do anything to, to show these off with the embossing folders. Change the format because all you need to do is just snip the, 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 um, the little... Um, frames yeah and you can see here i think this is sharon's is it yep sharon and she's overlapped them and you make a, a smaller format square there so one more to go we've got one more to look at which is this one here and again just change up the color with them like a um it's a petunia nice day and dip petunia nice day and dip petunia <laughs> so we've got that one there. That i've done that for a while oh look you with the ice cream That's oh it. look you dingy petunia <laughs> 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 you have to be British and you have to be of a certain age to appreciate that. Oh. Just saying. Um, but that's it. I love the colours in this. Look at look at how gorgeous. A little bit of um, embossing, um, a gilded wax on the embossing folder. Very, very of the era of it. And then, oh, you know, use your um, fabulous, your um, shimmer watercolours mm -hmm. there. The moonbeam on the black. This is the other frame. Look at how gorgeous that looks with the uh, glitter out of your um, luxury card pack. Incredible. How pretty is that? Yeah. And then one last one to look at there. Um, if you want to see them and you want to know how they're made, of course, join the Inket because my amazing team have made these for you to give you the inspiration because that's what it's all about. They're just things until you make them come to life and that's your job. These are blueprints I'm giving you and then you bring the magic to that. Incredible, right? Uh, very, very busy for these already. So many of you are shopping. Lots of love coming through. Love Sheena Day, says Beth. The samples, says Jane Quigley, are gorgeous. Gorgeous. Angela Park says, coffee in hand and ready to watch our amazing Sheena and looking forward to the fun with Ben and Sheena as they bounce off each other so well. Uh, this collection looks fabulous. Um, Sarah Ibbotson says, I love this new collection. Beth says, the new, pu new puppy. What? What? New puppy? Oh. Pictures please pictures um new puppy has to learn to curl up on my lap during ctv yes teach oh. him the commands early the most important commands ctv sit yeah yeah uh, <laughs> who was the lady back in the day see barbara woodhouse barbara woodhouse yeah. yes sit i sit. think the, and the owners would sit because she scared them yeah the dog would run the owners were like i'll sit I'll... yeah 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 she she was uh, a force 
Barbara Lesser. Woodhouse. Uh, Sheena Day says, Sherry, is my favourite day of the week. And Nanny to the Girls on YouTube says, such beautiful samples. Thank you, Sheena's Inket. We are biz, 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 busy. 15% uh, of the stock gone of the collection. I think it's really nicely priced. However, if you do want to pick and go for individuals, you can. All the details for that are on the Shop the Day page. Shop the show as well, of course. But listen, if the budget allows today, what a collection. And if that hasn't got the old creative juices flowing, all of the samples you've just seen there, boy oh boy, tough crowd, tough crowd. But let's get into it with Sheena, because I know uh, she will have fantastic demos of her sleeve. Where are you going to start, Sheena? Well, I thought it would be nice to start um, simple and show you how we can, you yeah. can make something um, really quick, but that looks amazing. And just with the folder, because you know what, I don't have much... Um, we don't bring that many folders with you to play with. Mm. And I thought we will do the stamping and colouring shortly. But isn't that just stunning that Deborah has created here? That is amazing. I think, and you know, you can change the colours up. This could be blue. You could make it look like peacock colours, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would look stunning. And it would look more like peacock feathers. But it's the technique's the same. And it's about techniques on a, um, a Sheena Day that I like to bring to you. So Love if, it. Yeah, to, because you want to bring life to what you're going to um, invest in. So we're going to use two. Yeah, we're going to use this, um, the swirling leaves embossing folder and we're also using the Art Nouveau frame so okay. they're the two that we're going to use this time. I love the voice you're presenting you like this that? demo in hello thank yes. you well, welcome to crafting with you <laughs> it, was like a, it was like a BBC yeah women let's craft together <laughs> <laughs> so we'll um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going to be a fun day. Have you got new glasses, by the way? Any what? Have you got new glasses, by the way? Yes, these are, you've got them at the same time because you know ah. when you buy one, you, you get one free. You get, well, half price. Yeah, but you've got to do it, haven't you? Yeah. Um, and I keep forgetting about these ones. They're very nice, those ones. Ah, uh, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Ben. You, they suit so you. we've got some bits prepped because um, so it, it's all good, and I have to thank the lovely Deborah for helping me with that as well. Here's the thing: we're going to take the embossing folder. Mm -hmm. I like. I still like the water watercolour card and the thing is you know the watercolour card's got a texture has yeah. it not mm -hmm. when it goes through the folder worry not fear not that will disappear because the pressure of the machine and the folder it just makes it smooth anyway and the reason I'm even talking about that is I want to kind of letter press this we're going to stamp with it we're going to ink it up and we're going to transfer that image onto that card so if you imagine like a bubbly bobbly um, surface will make the transfer um, more difficult. It doesn't, don't worry about it. Now, the thing I am gonna do though, because I may want to go over this more than once, is I'm gonna put my card in the folder and I'm gonna tape it down, right? Because um, I am thinking that if I wanna go over it again, and that's the front, so I'm gonna tape it on the back, I want to be able to reposition it where it is. Yeah. You see, it will all become clear because you may wanna ink it more than once. Does that make sense? Uh -huh. So that's it there. We've got that positioned. That will work nicely. Thank you very much. I'm opening that. Now, the side that we want to ink is the side where the picture is because that way um, we're inking the background. All right. Does that? Yeah. So and that's what we need to do. I'm, yeah. I'm not going to say does it make sense again because I'm like, oh, I'm doing my own head in. I'm just saying. So I'm going to use finesse. OK. Oh, yes. Finesse. In this, um, we're going to use the rustic brown. Am I using the right side? Bear with, bear with, bear with. Right, okay, I've got it about the right side there. Right, so I'm using finesse, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm using it instead of, you can tap it, or you can swirl it. Now, if you're using an ink pad that's got more of a squishy, you know, ink's usually held in a felt or in foam, yeah? In a what? Felt oh, or foam. Oh, felt, you said, yeah. right. So this is felt, now, so felt doesn't squidge as much. I thought you said ink is held in a ferret. In a ferret, that would be wrong. <laughs> yeah, crafting with ferrets coming to you soon. Hey, up! Welcome Hi to up. Crafters TV. <laughs> Today, crafted with my ferret. With <laughs> ferret and <laughs> cap on Elkley Mill Bart Tat. <laughs> Elkley Mill Bart Tat. <laughs> yeah, you know what? It's like so. Vink that up now. <laughs> uh, you know what? It's like be afraid. It's one of those days, isn't oh, it? I think it is already. We're only twenty minutes in at all. I've got to say, last week I couldn't hear anything, so I couldn't be as naughty as we're normally off in so I was just like in my own bubble to yeah. this week I'm hearing you woo so woo look out <laughs> so I'm popping that through the machine and I've just used the two outside plates because it's not a 3d it's a 2d folder and that should now have transferred something onto this now it has however if you want to make it darker because I taped it in there we are simply simply going to repeat okay okay so and now, your ferret 
Oh, so without the ferret. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we're going to um, carry on. You see, that's my world. We were just talking about it last week. You could have been saying anything. I, I was know. having a lovely conversation to myself. Well, I was saying so. I wonder why you were ignoring me. I oh, thought, oh, I thought the stream has gone off me. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah, she doesn't oh, like me anybody, anymore. Oh, if anybody's got eustachian tube troubles, Oof. I'm with you. Yeah. Oh. You've serious. got a little. You've got a new tool now, haven't you, to I help haven't. yourself? It blows air up your nose, and it's supposed to clear it. And it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> so I may just disappear. The other thing that apparently helps is if you hang your head down, stand up and hang your head down. So if you just say like nothing, and then I appear <laughs> like a muppet show. It's, <laughs> it's just like me just doing the ear thing. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know if I'd be animal or fuzzy bear or Fuzzy bear, whacka, whacka, whacka! Call me wormy! So, we've got a double ink there now, and that's probably enough. You could keep going, but I think we're good to go. Yeah. So, I've worn you out already, Ben. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, the best thing is to wipe this off your folder if yeah. you don't want it to be a permanent feature, which I'm going to do. And it's nice because, it, look, it wipes up great. Finesse. Fabulous. So that'll go back in there. Now the next thing we're going to do is best. Shit, I'm going to take this tape off here. Yeah, be careful because this will have been um, kind of squidged on there pretty well. And the best way to take it off so it doesn't tear is to try and tear it away from the cord, yes. not towards the cord, like yeah, okay. that. And we're good now. Um, I want funny. to heat set that uh -huh. just to make sure that that ink has. Because we did do a couple of coats on that, so a quick blast with a heat tool. Yep. And then we're going to colour it in. Ooh. And it's going to look beautiful. We've even got a quicker way to do this, and we might even do that. When we've done this one, I'll show you another quicker way. Because you know what it's like? You, you do this and you play and you think, oh, I wonder if that would have worked. Yeah. And then afterwards, you, you have a try and you go, oh, it did. I could have saved myself a bit more time. Um, right, so let's say that's dry now. And finesse is the waterproof ink. So when I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do now is use a, a water-based colouring product, which is, um, in this case, I'm gonna use my um, aqua pens. Wait, surprise, you are. surprise! Who would have thought that, eh? What, Sheena? You using yeah. aquas? What? Yeah, I did. I didn't know you liked those. No, you know what? I should have told you. <laughs> I am a closed book, aren't I? You are. You are. Oh well, Zero yeah. Okay. Believe it or not, I love these. Yeah. I should have. I should have mentioned it earlier. <laughs> but um, so next what thing I'm you're going to tell me is you make um, swatches and colour charts for them as well. Oh yeah, absolutely. Mm. Well, mm. you know what can I say? So yeah, colour chart. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, you do? There you are. Just like that. You never told I me that. I carry them with me. You know what? They don't even go out the car. <laughs> <laughs> I'm that scared. I'll sometimes not have them. <laughs> so I'll bring <laughs> me own. Mm. So I'm going to use, um, I'm going to use terracotta, which is gorgeous. And I'm going to use, you know what? You could use a bit of lime if you want a bit of a, a, a like a, a greeny tone where the leaves haven't quite changed. And I'm going to use some gold out of the, um, uh, the primary set. Okay. And you know, you could use a bit of a reddy colour out of there as well. Now, well, let's use orange. Why let's not? Let's use orange. How loud was that when I discovered orange then? Yeah. Right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to start with the lighter colours. So we'll go scribble a bit of gold like that. Okay. Yeah. And thus. Now, the good thing is when you're scribbling on your glass mat, it's not absorbent. And you think, oh, put loads of colour down there. You're not. You're just, it, it's going nowhere. You're using it in a very few frugal fashion yeah and we'll do a bit more like that I, I definitely think we need to do the quick way as well to show you because um you know sometimes you've got time when you want to make a bit more time and have a bit more uh, playing with your with your creations at that time you just want something that looks really cool really quick don't you so right so now we're going to go over and just not take too much time and and i'm not even worried about the background look at that i don't care no. What am I like? You were just... I ain't bothered. Look at this. Bothered? Face what? bothered? What? What no. a rebel. What a rebel. Look at me go. Look at yeah. that. That's one done. Look at this. And you could even probably even use a, a bigger brush. Yeah. You know, you could flap, use the flap brush on there. I've, um, nicked, I've nicked one of your bigger brushes over this side of the studio. I did, see. I walked away and yeah. I come back and it was like, oh, what? Put the brush down and walk away, Ben. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I've, I've installed a security camera since. Yeah. I've got the eye on you, Ben. <laughs> uh. I felt the wrath of Sheena. You did. You've got what, what make brush did you get there, Ben? Uh, <laughs> I can't remember, Sheena. I'm sure you know the name of the brush I that I got. I think it could have been a Royal and Lightnacle. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, they're on the show today, by the way. I was so pleased when I saw them on my um, my prep list uh, earlier. So if you want the Royal Langnickel uh, brushes, they're coming up for you a little bit later on in Colour Me Happy. But you can shop the day and uh, see all of those there. Um, Debbie, Debbie Durrant is with us. This is Debbie Durrant's card. I hope I'm doing it right. I hope I'm, I'm doing it just just let, as Debbie Durrant. Let Deborah. Uh, she says, I was so busy working on things to come, I forgot to tune in. Uh, but she says, Ben, do you need a separate ferret for each colour group or do they interchange OK? That is a well, good... Well, I would say have a warm-toned ferret <laughs> and a cool-toned <laughs> ferret because, you know, depending on your, your ferret, ferret storage space, <laughs> um, you may need to, like, just, you know, consolidate. <laughs> if you do have many ferrets, we do have some ferret storage trays on the sofa for you uh, today. Just hit the Shop the Show page uh, to find out how to get those. If you've just joined us and you've no idea what we're talking about, uh, do scroll back, dear viewer. Yeah. Uh, to watch. Oh dear. Yeah, no ferrets were harmed in the making of this no. card. No, we, love and we are not really talking about inking up ferrets, by the yeah. way. Um, <laughs> uh, just by the way, also to warn you, Beth has just put you on the 75 inch TV screen, Sheena, just to oh, let you know. Oh, no. Pressure's Bless on. Bless you. Oh, <laughs> dearie me. <laughs> You're on the Soft big screen. filter. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, God bless high definition, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but can you um, see, I've just made it even quicker, Ben. Look at me, I'm, I'm just like, yeah, look, big brush, flat brush. Yeah. Pop it on there. Whack you, it you, on. Yeah, slap it on. We're going to be done in no time, look. Yeah. Um, we're very busy, Sheena, I can tell you. Loads of people telling me that they're shopping. We've got uh, Wendy who says she's just got back uh, and just put the collection into her basket. Um, and Carolyn Wilson says, I love all of Sheena's work. Uh, please tell her, my mum was a secretary at a printer's shop, so I too had all the wonderful papers oh. available as a child. A oh. beautiful paper has remained an obsession. That's Carolyn. You see? Oh, fantastic. You know what? It's, you don't very often, like... Um, hear anyone who's had that same kind of experience like that and it is a fabulous thing i think it's a a, a great thing to have because it, you're forced to be creative you've got all this stuff there it's like okay yeah. brilliant yeah we used to donate it to the local school and, and things like that it was brilliant all the offcuts and everything um and just a good thing fabulous i'm so happy i had that and i'm yeah. sure you are too um can you see how we've got the and you can change the color if you want to make it go darker towards the end i really am not being careful at all deliberately because i don't want you to think you've got to labor over each leaf yeah and, and think oh i've got to shade it a bit here and i've got no put the color down then you can go back and think all right i need a bit more light here a bit more dark there and you can go over that as well um, but what we're going to do when we've done this, we're actually going to go over with some uh, gilding um, uh, wax as well. The Pebio, which is like, you know, my best ever, favourite, favourite ever, ever gilding In wax. In the world. It spoils you for all the others, you know. It just does because you, you um, it's just so good. Um, right, so we're almost there. But it doesn't take a long time, has it? And, you know, no, it hasn't. If we can do it in real time like this, Ben, and get this, you know, complete and ready to go, I think that's always a good a good thing because um, when you see the amazing cards, that's the other thing as well. Sometimes it can be a little bit intimidating thinking, whoa, that must have taken at least a day per mm. card and you must have been doing that forever to get to that. And it's not. If you've got the right instruction, the right product, most importantly, um, you know, you can do it. All you need is a little bit of, you know, Crafters TV, that's bit it. of a laugh, yeah, and off you go. Job's a good one. Job right. is a good one. Uh, Anne's just saying, I think chinchillas would work better. Uh, their fur is denser. This is yes. the weirdest conversation ever, but I'm, I'm all for it. Uh, yeah, a chinchilla probably would, yeah. 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 Oh, I feel bad for ferrets now, though. I know. Oh. Yeah. Just yeah. as a caveat again, please don't go inking up animals. Uh, and Terry H says, good morning, Sheila Penn and Crafty Friends from Iowa. Uh, hello, Terry. I may or may not have purchased this collection whilst I'm watching and working. You may or may not. Mm. I think a lot right, of people have bought this. We're very, very busy, Sheena, right now. Uh, a lot of people going for the collection, um, but you've got the individual items as well if you want to pick and choose. I think it's going to be harder to pick and choose because you'll want it all eventually. I, like, you can't yeah. pick and choose, really, can yeah. you? Because you, you'll yeah. always end up coming back getting the rest, and then you'll end up paying more. So if budget does kind of allow, I would get the collection today. 
And this is brilliant as well because, like you said, sort of stripped it back with this demo, haven't you? And made it very accessible and easy for people to do. Exactly. That's what I wanted. I didn't want it to be like, oh, this is a, you know, a colouring tutorial. It literally is just warm autumnal colours. If you want to make it more peacock colours, go with blues and, and turquoises and, and purples and things. Um, but that's it. That's as much as you have to kind of do with it. Um, and now, hopefully this is dry enough. You really want that dry because we're going to put a bit of gilding wax over it and make it look even more pearly. Yeah. And I'm going to use the, um, I, I like king gold is one of my favourites. So we're going to pop that there. And we're going to pop that there and splodge it. Now, so the secret is with this gilding wax is little bit on the flat of your finger and then go over it. And that's the way you want to build it up. You don't, if you put it on too thick, it just goes a, a splodge and you can't move that splodge. Once it's splodged, mm. you have to embrace the splodge or let it go. Let, okay. the let it go. <laughs> just let the splodge go. Let the splodge go. Mm. It'll be fine. So we're just going to... So now it's putting a, a blingy kind of uh, metallic coating over it and muting down those colours slightly, but that's fine because we went full on full bright and um, again though little if you put too much on you're just going to lose everything you've put on there um, and then what we'll do we we'll give it a bit of a polish yeah and that is the most of the card done we can show you how we put it together yeah but the, it's all about like the technique really isn't it about the um, that's it um, we could let should we do another one with an easy way, so we make it the peacocky colour I'm all up for the easy like. ways you know me the greeny yeah, yeah. absolutely um, oh, yeah. Twenty percent of the collection now gone, Sheena. Oh wow! We're thank you. Very busy. Lots Cheers, of everyone. lovely comments coming through. Anything you want to ask, Sheena? By the way, make use of her. Any questions you want to ask? Um, <laughs> no more questions about ferrets and chinchillas. Let's be serious, everybody. Come on, <laughs> we're not here to muck around. <laughs> uh, not here for fun. No, come on. This is a very serious <laughs> channel. <laughs> so, so what you'll find is there's not much reflection on there. There is enough, though. We don't want it to be like super sparkly, but we're going to polish it. Uh, okay. Let me buff it, right? And this is better if you leave it a little bit. It's incredible how much shine you get on this wax if you polish it with a dry piece of kitchen paper. And it, it's just a fabulous, fabulous um, technique. And layering, again, if you like your mixed media, Remember this technique, remember a bit of the wax over the top, just a touch, and then buffing it, and then what you'll see is you'll get that shine every now and again that doesn't go over the top with your... Oh, there we yeah. wrong way, wrong oh, way, hello. wrong Whoa. way. There, you can see it now. Can you see it there on the That's edge incredible. of some of the little leaves and things? And it looks kind of like coloured copper metallic. I just think that's a lovely. And then what Debbie's done is she's used the leaves here, um, so embossing of the folder, cut them out. These, this is the wording from that as well. So I'm thinking rather than stick that together because you've seen how that goes. Yeah. Um, I'm going to prepare another one and we'll do a different colour scheme. We'll do it a different way. Excellent. Well, we shall um, get ready to do that very, very shortly indeed. Um, Sue King says, I would enjoy colouring and shading each section. Sh section? Section. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'd enjoy it. I, I was watching him on TV the other night. They're playing all the old Bond movies on ITV4 and he was uh, in Goldfinger. You can also watch them, I've been told, on ITVX. Last night there it was Roger Moore, and he was in The Spy Who Loved Me. <laughs> you know night. who else you need to master? You need to do Kirk. You need to do James T. Kirk. Oh, yeah. You've got to get... That's your challenge. That's my challenge to you. Next next day we're together, it'll be, you know... I, I'm going to practice a hoorah, but I think... I'm, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I, I, I'm like more like a Klingon. I may be a Klingon. <laughs> I'm going for Klingon, <laughs> right? And you, you, uh, James you T. Kirk. <laughs> okay, just for, only for you. Uh, Jill says, "Ben, I'm here for the fun, a bit of crafting too. I know we have fun. We have, we, do, we have the craft. We've got a good mix, I think, haven't we? Generally." Um, Sue says, uh, "Would look good painted with a shimmer paint." Loads of great suggestions. I tell you what, we'll go through it all again in just a second. But we, I think we've got many people waiting to get their baskets and their carts checked out so let's give you opportunity uh, to do that and don't be distracted because we want you to get to the checkup but in the same time we do want you to have a look at this because we've got some new uh, videos for you and this one will tell you even more about everyone's favorite scotsman uh, have a look at this
I like to get up, chill, relax, get a cup of tea, then get myself sorted. And if I'm presenter, I'll write all my notes. If I'm the demonstrator, I'll get my prep out, have another look at it, make sure that everything is the way it needs to be for the show, do the show, then what I'll do is I'll grab something to eat, then have another look at the sheets again, making sure the next show's all good to go, then we do that show, tidy. I always like to make sure that the area is nice and tidy, either for myself the next day or whoever's in. Jump in the car, head home. I will quickly unpack what I need to unpack and then I get on that sofa as quick as I can. As Soon as we go live, I love that within our live shows, I always get the butterflies. As Soon as we get that countdown in our ear that we're just going live, butterflies kick in and within about 10, 15 seconds, I'm going. Butterflies have gone and we just enjoy the show. Early riser. Oh, shower in the morning. Tea. Oh, savoury breakfast. Masterclass. My mobile phone. Oh, anything with chicken. Currently, it is the weekend, blind and light, and it has been for about a couple of years, and I still love it. Uh, apart from jumping in the car, chilling on the sofa, watching TV. Day to day looks like on a normal day when I'm working from home, um, get up, breakfast, um, quick phone call with my daughter, and then I'm up in the craft room and I spend all my time in the craft room. If it's spending a day with the grandkids, it's that's it. That's my best part of the day, just spending time with family and those gorgeous little grandkids of mine. The best part of the day when I'm at work is when I go on air because I absolutely love it. Both. I prefer a shower in the morning. I feel fresher. I feel that I can tackle my day. However, depending on how that day's been, I also would have a double shower, so I'd have one in the morning and one at night too. Absolutely, 100% coffee. Will always be coffee. And flavoured coffee is my favourite at the moment. Dare I say it's a full English breakfast, the full works, the beans, the tomatoes, the bacon, the sausage, and everything else that goes with a traditional English breakfast. Craft along. Every day of the week, um, I absolutely love going through the stages from the start of a project to the end of a project. So craft along is definitely my favorite choice. <laughs> I can't leave without my lipstick. <laughs> It's a, it's a given thing. I once didn't have a lipstick on me and Leanne helped me out that day. Kick off the shoes, sit down for a couple of minutes, just gather my thoughts and then grab my tea. There you go. A uh, little bit more information there about our Debbie and Craig. Um, and of course, if you want to find out more about them, you can check out the uh, craft stories on um, my Facebook, I'm uh, not Facebook, YouTube page at Ben Mosby CC. There he is. Hello. Craig's just in the corridor. You're coming on the wrong day, mate. You're not in today. Ah, we've got Sheena. Hey. Yay. <laughs> They're all in today. I've seen Debbie Fisher walking up to down. It's She's great. Seen Craig. Wow. I feel a bit starstruck with all of these, uh, <laughs> these crafters in. Um, loads of love coming through. Very, very busy. Over 20% of the stock has gone. So thank you for that. Keep shopping. Um, anything you want to see, do ask, and um, we'll do that for you. We're going to get straight back to the demos. Just a quick question come in from Stephanie Sheena, who yes. says, uh, Sheena, how do you choose which colour gold to use? For the gilding, embossing, uh, the uh, gilding emboss wax, yes. um, any of them are going to work great. I, I like the, the two brighter golds, though, um, mm. for this. The, the, the antique gold is more like a 
like a rusty coppery kind of colour. Yeah. I like the king gold. And what's the other one? The other bright gold one. Um, it is. Cannot remember. Is it Empire? Uh, maybe Empire. Empire. Gold. I think yeah, it is. king gold. So the, the brighter the one. Um, I don't even know where I've put it. Wait, 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 uh, right in front of me. Oh, that one. there it is. So if you see there, it's more of the um, the really bright, the bright mm, one there. So okay. that's the kind of one I think it, it'll not darken the colours. It'll just add a bit of pretty blink to yeah. it. Yeah. You go over with the silver if it's cooler colours as well. All nice good. one. Um, are we doing a peacock now? Did you say? Yeah, should we a different way? Just same same thing. Yeah, we're moving. It's kind of like yeah, it's like a, a little animal theme thing. Yeah, like David Attenborough star over there. <laughs> So what I'm going to do, I've moved as well, because I'm thinking if you're going to invest in a set like this, you're going to want to know that they're going to work with how you colour in at home. So we've used, um, we've used aqua pens. We'll use water reactive ink pads now. Why yeah. not? And again, so it's a, another quick way of doing this. So what we're going to do is we're going to colour the card first. So take your blending tool. I'm <laughs> going to go over this and apply the colour and then we're going to emboss it. Okay. All right, and see what we get then. So it's a different a different approach. And of course, we could use those um, more muted colours that we've just been using if you want to, um, uh, not more muted colours, the warm colours for the, um, you know, the autumn leafy kind of look as well. But as we're doing another one, I thought we'd swap out the, the, the colour kind of range and go uh, quite a bit different. So we don't want tiny little bits of impressionistic colour on this. We want quite a good hit of colour um, of each one. And they're like green into green. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start adding other colours here now. I'm going to um, add the blue into it. OK. And we'll start getting where the blue mixes into the green. And I may do darker colour towards the bottom, you know, so it looks like on the folder, if you remember the, um, the leaves or the feathery type leaves that we're going to suggest here mm. get um, smaller to larger. So I thought it would be quite nice to maybe darker to lighter as well. Okay. That's the plan. That is the plan, Stan. Yeah. So we all good, Ben? Any questions or anything? All good? No, we're all good. There's lots of lovely comments coming through. I think um, yeah, generally people are, are going for the full collection as opposed to the individuals, which is uh, which is great. Like I said, I suppose it's all budget specific, but you know if you're kind of picking and choosing, I think you'll only kick yourself later on when you, uh, you know, perhaps see some of the stamps you didn't get or some of the frames that you didn't get. I was just saying to Sheena in the break, I absolutely love the um, the the frames as well, those die frames. I said there's the, the one particularly, um, well, it's Art Nouveau, isn't it? It reminds me of the the frames they used to have on the old-fashioned um, yeah. silent movies where the guy would be playing the piano. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. like, oh, yeah. The corner it was brilliant. Yeah, and they always used that. to act out a little bit, didn't they? And then, it like, the, the, the words would come up on the screen, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just such a lovely, lovely set. And, like you said, you know, you've got all of these um, different beautiful stamps to be working with, which are, I suppose, like set flowers, but, you know, you change the colour up on these, you can create whatever flowers you want to create. And to have those embossing folders to work with, too, um, absolutely beautiful. The ginkgo leaves and um, the swaddling leaves was the last one you worked with, wasn't it? Yes, exactly. Um, you know, I could have done the ginkgo with this as well, um, but I just thought it would be nice to... Uh, it's always difficult to think, what do we show? It's not what are we going to show, it's what we're going to have to leave out in the time that we've got, because I literally could just keep doing a month's residency here. You know, <laughs> there would be, yeah. People would be begging for release. I mean, the team here would be like, make it stop. <laughs> but I'd still be happily playing. Um, so the idea is, I think, of like doing, using the same folder again yeah is to let you see that if that applies to that it also applies to all the others and you can just keep mixing it up and that's what makes if you're investing in something that keeps regenerating and renewing you want to know how to keep bringing a fresh look and fresh ideas to that do you yeah. not that's my thinking anyway you know when you put a collection together obviously you've got the images here that make the cut do you have like a lot of i mean when you come up with a collection do you kind yeah. of have loads and then you have to whittle it down or um I, sometimes i have more than i need yeah. usually i'm quite careful because i'm i'm thinking of the end results and then i break it down and move it back and right and um and obviously you know asking for opinions i'm going what do you think do you think they like that do you like this works because when you're doing it yourself, it's, it's a bit scary because mm. you just got your own taste and ideas. And 
and we were just talking about this earlier you know you pick out your favorite cards and you think yeah. oh, i love that one and i love this one but then someone else has got gonna have a completely That's different it take on it and their favorites not even what you've got it's not even featured you go okay so what i'm going to do here we've got that background covered yeah. i need to dry that then okay. this is where you can um, drop some water on there if you want yeah. for some texture uh you could have got brian in the mix you know brian. i can't believe we didn't get brian in the mix has he traveled today uh he's actually here i he never is. leave home without brian mm. and a really funny post on the inkets someone had posted and she put up and she had like eight brian's Brian's the new batch like Gremlins. It was brilliant. <laughs> I love that. Made me day. <laughs> so funny. Um, we've, had, we've got a question coming from Karen who's just um, asking about blending. She's, um, she has problems. She says, um, any ideas when blending inks that helps not to get distinct circles? She says it doesn't matter what tool she uses yeah. um, or whether she starts on the mat or the card. She says she the still tends to get marks. Is there any... Tips right. you can give her. So the first thing, essential thing, the thing that doesn't matter how good you are, if you're black belt in blending, <laughs> is you're not gonna you're not gonna get there if you've got the wrong card. Mm. I would say if you're gonna do this kind of inking of the two cards, watercolour is the one to go for. Yeah. It is still better than the um, the multi-purpose card for um, for blending. Yeah. So that's number one. And the second thing is, as I like these applicators, these are my favourites. I've got more control over these ones. Um, the little ones with the um, you know with the refillable little bits on there. Yeah. They're the ones I like. Um, you can do the egg shape, whatever, whatever works best for you. But and the third thing you can do if you're still having trouble is take some of your ink and put it on your mat and put a tiny little touch of glycerin in it, and that'll make the ink smooth across the surface easier. Okay. Okay. So right. So let's see what this one's going to look like now, and then we'll move on to the um, to the next one. So I'm just making sure I've got this around the right way, and I want the that there like that so i'm just going to pop that in place and then i'm going to pop a little bit of tape on it just to anchor it because i definitely will need more than one um, pass over with this um, ink now this is where you could use your opaque inks as well if you want okay um you know you could go that route i'm just wondering if we've got a dark a color that would work with that so can you see how pretty that look and when you look through there mm -hmm. we've got the darker to the light now yeah and that background's going to be dark which will show off the leaves going lighter so what i was going to go was go with the finesse noir black because we do know that the finesse worked great with the rustic brown you could experiment with one of the um the uh the opaque ink from the bundle that we have but i kind of want to go dark color and i don't think either of those are going to go so i'm going to chicken out and go with the noir black okay. but you can this is where you would use your um your opaques as well okay and i'm going over there now i've got it on the right way yeah so definitely um the black will show will need more than one um go over with the folder but just if you're aware of that and if i've taped it down we should be okay with that can you see how you could easily spend like you know a whole week minimum with a with, with a, a, an investment like this because that's what this is this well, is yeah. an investment and like you said you know and it's been lovely to watch it but we've, we've literally featured the the one folder haven't we so far that's and, it and, exactly and look, look at what we've created already exactly and that's why i love um, you know, being here, and I have to say, next week, guess what? Ba ba ba. ba, ba, ba. It's not Sheena Wednesday. What the? No. But it's a Sheena Thursday. A Sheena Thursday. Thursday. It's messing with my head already. For the and first time ever. Wow. Who, who would have thunk it was even possible? Oh, look at how pretty that is. That look is. Look at that. Pretty. So what you could do is go over that again and make it black. Should we do one more thing? Yes. Let's, make, let's do one more. We just should. So we can, um, uh, where did I just put that in? See what I, I know, there it is. Right, it, ignore me in a monologue that does not exist. I say, the older I'm getting, if you know, you know Creature from Harry Potter? Mm, the I'm one who was the, the house elf, who was the, the, the grumpy one, not like Dobby, the one that just walked around moaning and he had no inner monologue. Ah. Oh. I don't moan all the time, but I literally have no inner monologue. It's like, ah. Oh. Creature. Yeah, I think with a K. I'm sure that's what he was called. Any Harry Potter fans remind me, because now, you know, I was that obsessive fan, but things, I might have fallen out of my head and I might have got it wrong. But I'm sure that was Creature, yeah, mm. with a K. 
I'm sure you're right. It was in one of the later episodes. He was in Sirius Black's house, I'm sure. Yeah. Again, sad but true. <laughs> someone will message in a minute. We had someone on yesterday because I was saying that we were talking about the spell yesterday and I was saying that wrong. Um, what is it? Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Yeah. Wingardium Leviosa. Because, yes. yes, it gets corrected. Yeah. Not that I've seen the film before. <laughs> and, yeah, and that was me. Ferreverto. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> No, I've never seen them. No, I've never watched them. Nah, not interested. Right, so what we've got here now is another one to show you, um, but different colour scheme. And again, you can use a different emboss, a different um, uh, gilding wax over that, or mm -hmm. you could even put a bit of a blingy spray over it. Um, you could full bleach it. You could paint a little bit more on that. Um, you could put a bit, a bit of the um, glitter glue on there. I'm trying to make mind up what we should do. Should we try a bit of the... Do it all! No. Uh, <laughs> what do you want to do? What are we trying? All of it! All no. of it! <laughs> right. Anything I can find, bear with. We okay. could try... I'm not sure what the silver's going to look like. Should we try it? Give Let's it a go. It. What's the worst that can happen? It's the same... Well, it's nice to build on a, on a technique, isn't it? I yeah. think. And then see where we get with it. So we're going now where this is going to make... Ah, right, yeah, tell you what's happening and I like it. Pewter. Right, so you know the way uh, the Art Nouveau movement with all that, and there, mm -hmm. were, there was arts and crafts and everything. They loved a bit of pewter. Right. Right? And that's what the black background's now becoming. It's looking like, with the silver over it, it's looking like a lovely faux pewter background. Not uh, blue pewter. Not what? Blue pewter. Blue pewter. I was thinking yeah. of computer. Your computer, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And computer, no. yeah. So uh, basically, that's what, and now it's giving it a different look again. But oh, I'm liking that, Ben. That's going to polish up nicely as well. It's, yeah, I'm liking it. Okay, winner, winner, chicken dinner. I love it when you wait until you're doing a, a live, you know, demonstration to say, well, should we have a bit of an experiment? Yeah. What? Just what? try it out on live TV. You know, what? we're all friends here, she. You know, it's yeah, fine. Exactly. But you know what? Even if it was rubbish, then at least I've done you a favour. That's and it. And you're not going to make yourself look as daft as me, are you, at all? <laughs> so we'll wipe that up there. Again, dry cloth. And this is where, if you leave it a couple of minutes, it's going to be better. But we haven't got that because there's more we want to do. It's just ridiculous how. Can I show you half of this, right? I'll show you the half of polish like that. Look at that. If you can see that bit there, it's quite dull. Watch. Mm. Oh, yeah. Can you see the difference? The shine? Uh -huh. It's just crazy how good this stuff is. Shall I polish the rest and show you? Yeah. So, um, and that, I think, looks really cool. And that's another card made there. Even quicker. So, a bit of ink on your background. It could be brying with your um, inks again, which would be even quicker than blending it. You know, when we sponge it on? Yep. And then put it through the folder, ink it up. And then you've got a different look again with Incredible, that. that. Incredible. There you go. Right, I'm going to have a tidy up. Yeah. And then we're going to do a bit of pretty floral stamping and colouring in. Uh, Tony Roosh says, Sheena, if you go all day, I'll be here all oh. day. Um, clever as like our artist in residence and just, yeah, just, just, keep, her, just keep her here. 24 seven Sheena, <laughs> can you imagine? Uh, Jill Grady says, I've just joined after getting back from water aerobics. Oh. Uh, and, I f and I found uh, Yodel has delivered my illusion film and dies. Yay! When was that? That was... Was that Monday? Yeah, Monday. That's quick, isn't it? Um, loving this rapid delivery. Tomorrow, my confetti cutting dies, question mark. When was that? Yesterday? Well, probably. If you go by that speed of delivery, I would imagine that's probably going to happen. Um, now, Kathy, I don't know the answer to this question, and I'm sure Patricia Nicola might know. Is this the same set here as the one that was on HSN? It is. It is. There you go. I told you, you know. Straight away, Mia. Yeah. In. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. It. Yeah. yeah. It is. Uh, love the technique, says Cindy Condy. So gorgeous. Uh, Zoe Carver says, love those colours. Um, and Sherry Miller says, I'm so happy I got the whole shebang. Um, I, let me show you again, and I'll tell you what, in the next hour, we'll have a look at some more finished samples with um, Sheena, but I can, I can show you the basics of what you're getting if you go for the full collection. Um, that, all of it's available individually. The full collection wasn't on HSN. Oh, OK. Uh, Nicola has changed her mind. So there will be items here that you were not able to get on HSN. 
somebody cleverer than me will be able to tell me which ones. It's not me. <laughs> uh, well, if you still, let us know. Uh, but there are individual items here that you can pick up. We're going we're gonna to have a little bit of a check and a look for you. Uh, but the swirling leaves are the ones that we've just been using, the ones that you've just seen, that beautiful embossing folder. Um, you get two within the set, which is incredible. And again, isn't it amazing to think um, over the course of this hour, this first hour, we've just seen so many techniques using one component from the actual collection. So it really does go to show that, um, like Sheila says, you've got plenty to play with and plenty um, to be crafting with. You'll spend a lot of time on each of the elements within this set. Then you're gonna get your uh, ginkgo leaves as well. So another beautiful embossing folder um, to go with this. But I love these frames too. And, and the great thing about these frames as well is that you know that you'll be using these outside of this collection too. That's my favorite of the, of the frames. Um, whether you're sort of using it that way or going that way, as I say, it just reminds me of those sort of um, old fashioned movies, the frames which you used to get on those black and white movies. And you get a lovely selection of die cut sentiments in there as well. So you've got of, you've got thinking, hello, thankful, so, and you. And then you're also gonna get your second set of frames and sentiments, which is the um, entwined floral. Again, really beautiful frame, which you know you will be working in to other collections into other projects outside of this one. Uh, beautiful frame once again. And then you've got all of those sentiments in there as well. So just for, you've got you, you've got congratulations, and then you've got your best wishes. And then all of the stamps next. I mean, the artwork, as you would expect, is absolutely incredible. Nice big size on these as well. And some of your, I think, favorite florals in this set too, because, you know, you think of um, flowers that put a smile on your face. Absolutely, it's got to be those um, stunning daisies in there. Again, big size stamps you're going to get. Um, Photopolymer stamps, of course, as well. Um, and you're just going to have so much fun coloring with these. You're also going to get your luscious lilies which again, beautifully drawn, beautifully illustrated, and a nice big uh, stamp to be working with. And just to say, the luscious lilies, which I'm showing you here, and then also your pretty petunia, are the two which were not available on HSN. So we've cleared that up. So if you did get the collection on HSN, you've loved it, and you're thinking, oh, I'd like to complete it, then you go individually on this one here. So that one is your luscious lilies, just to remind you. And then this one here, which is your pretty petunia. So you can add those into your basket individually and then you will have kind of completed the whole set. If, however, you haven't shopped on HSN at all, or if it's the first time that you've seen these, just go for the full collection uh, and then you will have it all. Uh, love those absolutely beautiful wild roses on there as well. It's uh, the official launch today, of course, uh, just about an hour ago or so, and uh, you're saving 10% off the price you should be paying. Then you're gonna get your Club Inspire discount as well. So 56 pounds, incredible value for money. $68 if you're shopping in the US and you're a Platinum member. Uh, and again, as I mentioned, if you are fairly new, because I, I know we do get new viewers watching uh, when Sheena's in town. Um, so you can get this price. To, oh, it's gone. You can get that price that just disappeared there. Where did that? Where's it gone? Oh, it's there. God, who put that there? Oh, sis. Uh, you can get that, that price there you can get if you just shop for the first time today as well, get 20% off. Um, you just need to join Club Inspire, free to do, uh, and that will be your price today, 56 pounds or 68 dollars. Um, Sue King says, you could paper piece the frames. Absolutely you could. If you wanted to do that, possibilities to do that. Uh, oh my gosh, says Jane Quigley, uh, you would never think that started as a piece of white card. I know, right? If you weren't here from the start, you'd think absolutely no way. Uh, and then uh, Lisa Beecham saying the font is fab too. Size of the frames, let me come around and have a look with um, Jamie here. So the size of the frames, I'm coming around. I'm coming around. Uh, the size of your frames. Uh, so what, 4.2 by 5.9 inches uh, on both of those actually. Your embossing folders are 5 by 7 and the stamp sets are sort of about 5.6, 5.8 by 4. Um, but yeah, those frames, 4.2 by 5.9 uh, for both of those. Hopefully that helps. And as I said, that embossing folder, or the embossing folders, five by seven. Thank you, everybody, for all of the lovely... Yeah, so they would... Oh, they would uh, go through the MIDI. Absolutely, they would. Yes, they would. Welcome, if you've just joined us, to... They would go... Yes, they would. Uh, would they? Yeah, they would. They would. What did I say they were? 
Oh, you've... Six by four, pretty much. So, yeah, they would. Anyway, welcome to the show. A great start to the show, isn't it? Uh, my name's Ben Mosby, and you're watching Crafters TV. It is launch day, second hour. Uh, it's Sheena Wednesday, and you guys have absolutely loved this brand new collection, In The Frame, Bold Florals. Uh, and a lot of you will have seen it um, when we launched it on HSN. There are elements, as we discussed in that last hour there, that you won't have been able to get your hands on. So whether you're shopping for the full collection today or going for individuals, we'll take you through everything with uh, Sheena in just a few moments' time. It is, of course, National Craft Month as well. And as part of that, you've got yourself a code. We're doing um, different codes each and every week. We've done paper craft, we've done colouring, we're now on to sewing. So your code is NCM Sewing. You use that on sewing and needle craft items, 30% off when you use that code. The best thing to do is if you go to the website, you'll see a designated page there, which you can click on, see all of the deals, whack in your code and you'll get 30% off. If you're not sure if it works on what, best thing to do, as I always say, is just stick that code in at checkout and if it will um, take some money off, it will, which is marvellous. And as I said, uh, we're excited. It's National Craft Month. Uh, we are launching each and every day this week. So, six launches. This is the third of six and it's proving so, so super popular. Not surprised at all because it's brand new from lovely Sheena, who is with us. Um, such a fabulous collection. You must be overjoyed with the response so far. I can, I can say that it is a winner winner chicken dinner so far. I uh, thank you. Um, yes, I am. Thank you very much. Because you know, it's always like you just hope you're gonna like them. And uh, uh, yeah, thank you. So pleased you, you are. Um, and we will go through it um, with Sheena in more detail in just a little while, take you through some finished samples uh, and that kind of thing. Uh, let us know what your favourites are as well. If you look through the stamps, um, do let us know which are your favourites. Uh, Anne says, I think the wild roses look a lot like hibiscus, depending on how you colour them. And that is the genius thing with this as well, is that the fact that you've got... Um, the start there with the stamps, but then there's nothing to stop you from taking them into uh, different colours, changing the ways that they look, just depending on how you um, colour those in. 30% of the stock of the full collection has gone. It has been very busy uh, over the, particularly over the course of the last sort of 15 minutes. I think a lot of people have been impressed by uh, Sheena's demos. I think you're now kind of seeing the kind of worth and the value of this collection and now you're jumping in 56 pounds or 68 dollars is the platinum price on this one and as i said you can go for that full collection as well should you uh, wish or just go for individuals it is entirely up to you if you have just joined us it is the in the frame bold floral eight piece collection 56 pounds, 68 dollars. Should we have a look at this in full before we get into another demo with Sheena? Let's go through it all. What are we getting for our money, Sheena? Right, well, you're getting dies, embossing folders, and stamps, big floral stamps with um, photopolymer, which is the best quality that you're going to want for um, stamping. So let me take you through the dies, first of all. So you've got two sets of dies. You've got the, um, the one here, which you can use a portrait, all landscape you can see that's it and you've got all this wording which is very art nouveau you've got another one here which has got a floral element and again that works both portrait or sorry landscape or portrait with again lots of uh, wording that you're going to mix and match for your creations and then you're also getting embossing folders so these are really gorgeous really deeply embossed embossing folders you've got the uh, the swirling leaves and then you've got the ginkgo leaves let me show you some examples oh yes those. that again gorgeous look at this absolutely stunning so that's Incredible. the ginkgo that's the swirling leaves yeah um then then we haven't moved on to the florals yet. We've got the lilies. Wow. Love lilies. So lilies are great because they come in loads of colours. Depending on how you want to colour them, love that. We're going to do that shortly. And then you've got the um, the different colourways. So you've got like your um, tiger lilies. You've got your stargazer lilies. You've got all of those. You see how the frames coming into that as well? We've got daisies. Um, Beautiful. We've got smaller format look at the difference in size of the format here yeah. from huge um eight by eight square cards to your smaller format cards we've got two more to go we have the petunia petunia and again all depending on how you want to color them do you want to color them in with the uh, bold um uh, look like this or do you want to use your um shimmer wow piece? 
uh, your different frames on there. Then we have the last one, which is your poppy. And depending on how you're going to colour that in, you're going to go with your traditional poppy colour or you can go more of your California poppy or your red poppies, and pink, it doesn't matter. You know no. what? They're your creations. You can colour them in any way you want as long as they look pretty. That's it. Um, and we've had so many lovely comments about this collection as well. Uh, absolutely fantastic. If you want to go for the full collection, there's the details on your screen. Uh, £56 if you're platinum or $68. So uh, for everyone, it's a 10% saving. Platinum members, you've got that extra 20% discount or wherever you are within Club Inspire. And also don't forget, uh, if you are new to us today, you can pick up the collection by signing up to Club Inspire for free and getting that 20% off. And of course, if you decide that you just want to get individuals, you can find all of those individuals for you on the Shop the Show page. Right, let's get into it. Uh, Stephanie says, uh, sorry, Ben, I love them all. Uh, the samples from the design team and Sheena's demos, well, there's my answer. It's fine to love them all. Um, and that's why the majority of people are going for the full collection because everyone loves them all. Uh, and we're now over 30% of that collection gone. All right, so the last sort of hour, we concentrated a lot on the embossing folders within the collection. Um, what are we going to do in the second hour, Sheena? Well, we're going to do some colouring in of the florals. But again, I want to keep it really quite simple. Start off and just show you how it doesn't have... It looks amazing. They're going to look amazing when you're done. But it's not a difficult process to get there. I... I just adore this card. I love mm. it because, again, we were showing you the smaller format that they're going to work in. I don't know if that one's at hand. Uh, bear with, bear with. Here bear it with, caller. Hold the line. There you go. So, look, that works as a standalone card if you just want to post smaller cards, A6 kind of size. Yeah. Um, if that's what you like to, to work with. But with the framing, with that negative space, with that bold floral, you can get away with even white card and it looks stunning. So, let me take you through that process. Um, first thing I have, I'll show you what we're going to use. I've got that ready. We're going to put that through in a minute. We're going to use the um, Lily, yeah. which is this one here. And we're going to use this frame here, which is the Art Nouveau frame. So those two are going to be used to create that card. Uh, I have got my watercolour card on my repositionable stamping platform. I've also gone over that with an anti-static bag because I'm going to emboss it in gold and I don't want that powder to cling anywhere other than on the line that I've inked up and it will if you don't use an anti-static bag. The next thing is this stamp is brand new and you'll find that photopolymer are super sticky, they're really clingy. So one thing you can do to kind of stop that a little bit, you can either wipe them over like with a wipe or use them, ink them a couple of times and then become a bit dirtier. Or you can take a regular eraser and go over them like this and that tends to stop the stickiness but it makes them the ink cling to them better when they're brand new. Just a little um, extra there. Um, I'm going to use a, one of the opaque ink pads to stamp with. I'm just going to stamp with the white. I just think it's a great one to have um, because if it's on a slightly coloured card, you can actually see where it is easier than a transparent. And it's going to stay wet long enough and it's gloopy enough and thick enough to hold your embossing powder. So even though I'm going to use um, gold embossing powder, it doesn't matter what's underneath it because when that melts, you won't even know what colour you've used underneath. Okay. As long as you've got the right um, covering on that. So, I've been told I'm one of the noisiest stampers ever. Pardon? Yeah, I can't I know. hear you because you're it's stamping. It's a fake off. I know. <laughs> Very delicate at stamping. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna just. <laughs> yeah, everybody's turned their tallies down now. <laughs> Yeah, you're not on Beth's 75-inch TV anymore, you know. Yeah, exactly. As long as the neighbours having construction work done. <laughs> yeah. right, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go over it again, Ben. Go, so get there ready. Go. This is how noisy she is. down. Yeah. <laughs> go again. Whoa. Yeah, there you go. It's a good tension and stress reliever, that one. Yeah. Right, so now I'm going to go over that again because I just want to make sure I've caught everything on that uh, there and take your time to walk across that because they are large stamps, they're large images. And you know what? If you tried stamping in the past, back in the day, and it wasn't like you didn't have a load of success, it's changed. It is not what it used to be. Times ain't what they were, Times, guys. they are a-changing. Oh, they are a-changing. And, you know, with, with the repositionable especially, 
you get another chance to do it. It's so much user, so more user friendly than it used to be. So um, yeah, if you tried it before, give it another go. And now I'm going to use the gold embossing powder here, and hopefully all being well. Oh, how has that happened? I've got I've got a literal line over my ah. stamp. Wow, I that mean... is just weird. That is a bit strange. That was something on the card. You know what I was just saying about you can't go wrong with stamping? And I've it's never just... seen that before. No, I've never is seen it... that before. Was it? Wow. Well, there you go. It's a first here on Crafters TV. OK. Ben, over to you. I need to reset because I need to do a bit of detective work because I'm not, I'm not going to let it lie. Go on, then. You I'll tell you what. You and I need to know why. Vera is going to have a look over there. She's going to put a trench coat on. DCI Vera Stanard test. DCI Vera. Uh, right, we're going to have a bit of a break actually, give you opportunities to get your carts and your baskets checked out. Uh, and then when we come back, we will uh, get down to uh, looking at that demo in full. Uh, but in the meantime, any more questions you want to fire in, feel free to do so. And um, let us know what you've been shopping for as well. Who's gone for the full collection? Who has gone uh, for individuals? And if you have gone for individuals, which ones have you shopped for? Uh, whilst you do head to the checkout, here is uh, another little video where we'll find out a little bit more about Debbie Shisha. My day-to-day -day life is uh, pretty busy and wet. Literally, I get in the door, I check my polls, uh, I then check what I've got to demo, I then get everything ready, um, and it's just busy, busy, busy from there. I producer, the director, we get them sorted for the shows, uh, talk to the presenter, um, and it depends what side I'm on. I mean, sometimes I'm doing side, sometimes I'm doing the demonstration side, and I love both. It's actually who I get with. That's, yeah, I can't say no more than that other than anybody that works here. Uh, we are a big family. We're so super... Um, I love Ben. I love it when we went to work together. And I don't mean that I don't love anyone else. It's the fact that Ben is the presenter and then I'm demonstrating and we just have this great rapport. Uh, same with Craig, same with Deb, same with the whole team. But yeah, the best day is just getting to work with the best people in the industry. Oh, a night out. Uh, in the morning. None. I only drink water. Oh, well, I'm cutting out sugar, so it's got to be uh, savoury. Ah, <gasps> masterclass. Oh, I can't leave the house without my lipstick. Oh, I love a baked potato. I relax, so I literally drive and then I relax. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. I'm Becky, I'm the soft craft expert for Crafters Companion. 
I've always crafted. Um, I think because my parents worked at Shepperton Studios, I, I lived, I grew up at Shepperton. Um, they were always working, so my holidays and my weekends and my evenings were spent at, at the um, studios. And I just sort of sit around with the other artists and they'd give me a bit of clay to play with or some fabric. Um, so we were, I was always making things and there were a couple of us, a couple of children around the same sort of age. And we just used to make clothes for our, our Cindy dolls. I'm flighty with my crafts. Um, I want to try everything, so I go all out and I decide tomorrow I'm going to be doing candle making and I buy all the stuff and I make candles and then I lose interest and I move on to the next thing. I want to be able to have a little go at all sorts of crafts and I've always been like that ever since I was a small child so I think I can turn my hand and give anything a go. My craft inspiration I think comes a lot of that comes from the internet, looking online, being able to watch um, sort of artists producing bits and pieces as well as sort of um, you know, just general crafters but a lot of my inspiration came from um, sort of my mum and my mum's friends which were all sort of um, great designers and um, people that, that created all sorts of different things. The Crafters TV audience have been so kind to me. So when I first started, I've not been here a huge amount of time and I've done a little bit of presenting. I got so many lovely comments from people when I started doing the presenting and it was just really such a lovely um, feeling. And it's nice that people keep messaging in, you know, we see the same, same people and we know you can build up that kind of relationship with those people. So it's just the fact that people like what we do and they're pleased. And I do love it. Well, so the artists made when they've been inspired by the shows, I think that's great. My biggest achievement, it's, um, it, it, when I put it on social media, I said that I was more proud of this than I was when I had my children. Um, it was when I won um, a, a demo of the week. I was just absolutely gobsmacked that I'd won demo of the week. I don't often win demo of the day, so to win demo of the week, I was really, really super excited. Oh God, I can't give you the gossip because I promised that I wouldn't give any of the gossip away. But it is great. Um, we Lots of us stay overnight in a house here, um, which is brilliant because we all get to know each other on a like, real personal kind of level rather than just colleagues. So it's a really great atmosphere. And there's so much to learn from all of these people that I work with. So I, I feel really quite blessed um, to be part of this. Um, it is a happy family, I have to be honest. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, thank you for checking out your carts and your baskets. It's been busy. It's a busy old week. Uh, loads going on as part of our launch palooza. Not an official thing, just something that I have made up, and I'm loving the name of it. You watch now. They'll copy that, and in a few months' time, we'll be like, oh, this week we're doing launch palooza. And I'm like, I came up with that. You heard it here first. It's a great name, isn't it? Yeah, I, yeah I'm going to trade, trademark, slash, copyright that. Not launch a loser. Launch a palooza. As part of that, don't forget tomorrow, uh, it is Pets Rule, that collection's launching, so we're going to ask you to bombard us with pictures of your pets. I might put a post up on my Facebook page, actually, so um, we can start it tomorrow morning, and then we want all the pics during the show. Um, so that would be great. I, I, wear, I mean, we could. Should I bring Molly in tomorrow? She would be a nightmare. She would be a nightmare. I could put her up here, but she wouldn't. She would just, uh, she'd be everywhere. She had knocked the pack shot down. She'd be running around. But it is at Pets Rule tomorrow, so... Is it? Because you know what? Yeah. Willow might be coming up next week. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. What, on the show? Well, she can't, if she... But again, she's a bit of, like, yeah... But she's, she's fine if she has a tennis ball, isn't she? She's four... Yeah, give her a tennis ball. Yeah, it's a bit like me. If I've got four, I'm a bit quiet and you're all right. So, yeah. yeah. Tennis ball. I think if I brought Molly in and she had all of her toys, like, yeah. she's got, like, she's got Goosey and Stephen Seagull... Uh, Siddley the snake, uh, the Scooby-Doo ball, uh, Chuck the chicken. I mean, she's got all of them. So um, I'll bring her and her friends. Let me know if you want me to bring in Molly tomorrow and I'll see if I can make that happen. I mean, it makes sense, doesn't it? You know, it's on, on target with what we're doing because it's pet's rule. Um, hello, crafty friends and Sherry Bolts. Getting snowed in means time to craft. And Kim Fisher says, I thought I got the complete collection at HSN, but now I can see I'm missing the petunias and the lilies. So, of course, I had to get them today. Uh, right, we are good to go. Um, second time lucky with the, uh, the stamp. Yes. And we're away. We're all good. Um, so I've stamped and embossed it in gold and it looks very pretty. And I'm going to try and do justice to this gold just colouring that um, Lisa's created but I'm going to keep it as minimalist as possible as well so technically I'm going to try and do it most of it with um, actually not the teal I need the navy the navy navy um, pen uh, 
most of that because all what we're going to do is we're going to create different tones and things with the one pen and water so scribble some of your ink like that and this is obviously it's really dark so we're going to be using quite a bit of water with this so i'm going to just try it with one petal at a time so the first thing is not a lot of water on my brush and i'm going around the outside like this with a little bit of that there like that and then mm -hmm. immediately wetting the brush and I'm dragging the colour like that and I'm getting that lighter tone in the middle. So again, let's try that with it, just a petal at a time. And it is, it might be slightly darker than the colour that Lisa used. So you want more water to give it that um, nice contouring. Can you see we're not taking ages to, to do a lot of shading? Uh, and I'll, again, one pen. That's the beauty of watercolours. That's why yeah. I just love my watercolours, Ben is you just can you know do get so much done uh quickly without having to pick up lots of pens uh they look really cool yeah can you see how again it's really relaxing this is something you could do of an evening while you're watching dci vera stanna <laughs> <laughs> she hasn't got a bad you know blethen I've got to say, for a Geordie accent, because you know what it's like wherever you're from in the UK, mm. or anyway, I would imagine, if people try and, you know, copy your accent, if you're local, you kind of, you know, don't you? You know the ones that aren't the real locals. I things. hate people who copy other people's accents. Sorry? <laughs> <laughs> I said I hate people who copy other people's accents. You'd never catch oh, me doing ben, that. Oh, Ben, I think it's shocking. You would yeah. never hear us doing that, would no. you? Never. Why not, nah, man? Why not, nah, man? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I think it's great. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> I haven't really watched much Vera. I must have a look at that because it, it's a bit. I'm sure you said or someone said it's a bit. Um, is she a bit Columbo-y? Yes, she's like a female Columbo. Yeah. Yeah. Just one more thing, man. Just yeah. one more. Just thing. one more thing. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. She is like the. She's just got the raincoat and everything, and she's even got a hat though. I see. You know what was really funny? A few years back, I come back up to Newcastle and went to the local market and they were selling Vera hats. So, I mean, if you've seen Vera, bless her, she's brilliant character and great, but she's not a fashion icon. You know, no. I wouldn't necessarily say I want to, that's the look that's for me. What's, I'm gonna, what's the hat that she wears? It's a floppy kind of, like cloth a sun hat. kind of like, like a fit, yeah, like a fisherman's kind of hat. It's, oh. it's not, you know, it, it's, it's not a chic beret or anything. It's uh, functional, Ben. Yeah. Functional. And, and who does she work? Does she work for a fictional police? Yeah, somewhere in Northumberland, or? like a, a fictional place. But the thing mm. is, as well, as if you are local, you spot all the places that you know. Yeah. You know, and it's like it's really good, especially when you don't live there anymore. It's quite nice going. Oh, look. She's in Marsden now, or she's at Whitley Bay and all that, yeah. Yeah, I got I got a picture of her now. Nicholas just sent me a picture. It's like yeah, it's like a like a fisherman's hat, like you say, yeah. Yeah. Ah, and the old yeah, the old uh, Colombo trench coat there. Yes. Yeah, I love that. I've watched but I think I must have watched all of those Columbos. I've got them on DVD. Oh, I remember when I went to America the first this was in the seventies in California because my aunts and uncles lived there. Yeah. We went to um, like Universal Studios. Yeah. And there was Columbo's place and everything, and they had like you know, the Rockford Files. You remember the Rockford Files as well? Oh yeah. Do, do, James do, 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 do. No, that one I haven't seen that one either. <laughs> yeah. And um, oh, I was like, wow, look at that, it's amazing. Yeah. All those good old cop shows of years gone by. Yeah. Classics. Yeah. They weren't. I could watch them then, though, because they weren't quite as graphic as they are now, Ben. I have to watch shows now that if they're not a Dis Disney certificate, and even then Disney's a bit iffy these days, and um, I have to ask, what's happening now? Can I look yet? Can I? Yeah. <laughs> I'm terrible to watch. Can you see how that's working there? Yeah, absolutely. We'll get a little bit of colour in there. So I'm, we could even go straight in with them. Um, with the, the pen for the centre bit, you know, the, the, the centre bit, that'll be the stamen, Sheena. Mm -hmm. They're the bits you've always got to cut out your lilies, haven't you? Especially if you've got kitty cats, people. Is that right? Oh, yeah, oh. they can kill little kitty cats, yeah. Lily, st lily stamens? Yeah, very, very, yeah. I did not and know that. Know it, and it wasn't public knowledge for a long time. I don't know how all the cats survived for a long time, so yeah. Definitely, if you've got cats, cut the stamens out. Or best wow. to not have lilies, really. Public service announcements on Crafters TV as are. well. Hey, we are a wealth of, of yeah. useless knowledge, aren't we? But no, if you've got a cat, not useless. Very important. Wow. Yeah. 
Especially, says uh, Rachel, for short-haired cats like Siamese. Siamese, yeah. I tell you what, cats are absolutely mad looking. Have you seen Rex cats? Are they the ones? No. They've got no hair. Oh, what am I thinking of without the tails? Manx cats. Manx, yeah. On the yeah. Isle of Man, aren't they? Yeah, they're lovely. Rex cats. Oh, yeah. So they just... And feral hairless. cats. They've, they're they like, whoa, yeah. What cats? Feral. I think there's a feral cat. And they look... I think they're similar to the Rex cats. And they're just like... They've got no skin. They've got big, big eyes. Because you. it's like if you've got a cockapoo, just saying, first mm. time a bath willow. Yeah. He's got this little fluff ball that looks like they've got like a round face and red thing and then you wet them yeah. and it's like whoa what happened there it was like a gremlin that ate meat or got wet yeah yeah she was like a little eyes were like goggly eyes with this mega pointy nose completely different to what you imagine's underneath all that <laughs> but still love her she still looks super cute yeah <laughs> So, bring um, her in, bring, bring her, her in. in. Should we continue with this? Do you want, are we okay for time to do a bit more of this? So, yeah. Um, so again, it's just that one colour, see? Well, you'll be wishing not because she's amazing. Like, she's so clever. She comes when you shout of her. She, she has a step if we're going in the car. Yeah. There's some steps up to the house and she'll sit on the second step up. That's her step. Yeah. Until you tell her she can... Come on then, and she moves then. She comes in to get into Aww. the car and she sits and weaves. She is so good, but she's vocal, Ben. Oh, is she? She has something to say. When she first meets you, it's like, I better scare the living daylight out of you. Oh, them. she barks a lot, does she? Yeah, she does when she first meets you. It's like, blah, blah, blah. it's like, oh, come on. And then she's your best friend five minutes later, especially mm. if you throw the ball. Um, and I just wish that was a way of like, that she didn't do that, but hey, she does. Hey, i tell you what, I, I, I know I keep saying I'm going to do this, but I am doing this soon. I'm, I'm going to take a dog training certification. Oh, so really? Soon, yeah, it really interests me. So as soon as I've done it, I'll come and fix Willow for you. Oh, fantastic. You can for, be the dog whisperer. Yeah, the dog, the dog whisperer. Excellent, yeah, yeah you can well. Be my, um, Willow can be my guinea pig. Vine. Or guinea dog. Guinea dog, yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I mean, she's, you know, she does like a short of hoovering in the dishes. Like, you'll open a drawer and you'll, Marie, I'll say, like, draw, and she jumps up and she shuts the drawer and things. Does she actually? Yeah, she does, yeah, seriously. Yeah. That is I mean, we've taught, Molly does quite a few bits and pieces, but the most impressive thing about her is that she knows all of the names of her toys. She does. Oh. Yeah, so if you go, go and get Goosey, Eggs. she gets the, yeah. the right toy. Well, there's a toy that, and we've told so many people to get it because she does chew toys a little bit as well. Mm. And there's a one called an Ovo toy, which looks the most boring. You know, like we as the doggy parents like to buy things that are cute, little cute things that look like things. This is an egg-shaped toy, right? Yeah. And it's not exciting. And yet I've told so many people, get this toy because they love it. They don't chew it. It's not even, it's like a very soft rubber. And she's got them in all different colours. So get this, you know the way I'm designing stamps and mm -hmm. I'll call it like tree one, tree two, tree three. So the guys in the office have to help me come up with like something a bit more like exciting than those like working names. Yeah. Well, it's the same with Willow's toys. There's like, there's pinky. Pinky, yeah. Greeny. Yeah. Orangey. Orangey, yeah. Purpley, can you see where we're going? No, yeah. Blimey. And they're all the same shape. And she knows which one. And I thought they were supposed to be colour blind. So I don't know if it's the yeah. if it's the, the shade that she's getting. Yeah. But she gets it for sure. She knows which one exactly. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're, they are cl clever. And Molly as well, because obviously Laura walks dogs. Um, so she knows all of the names of the dogs oh, that cute. are coming. And Laura tells me whenever they go on a walk, so like today, for example, I know she's gone out with uh, Coco, who's her little Cavapoo friend, and Ted, who is a um, Spanish water dog. But Laura will say, like, out on a walk, and they all like, run free in the field, and Laura will go to Molly, uh, go find Coco, and she runs to Coco, gives Coco oh. a nudge, and then runs back, and then she'll go, go and say hello to Ted, and she runs over to Ted, gives him a little nudge, and comes back. Oh, what? So she's, like, helping her mum yeah, at the yeah. job? Yeah. What? She, and she's got this one dog, uh, lives at the road, called Cody, who's a Labrador. Um, and again, he sometimes sort of wanders off a little bit too far. And Laura will, Laura will say, go get Cody. And then she'll round him up like a sheep and bring oh. him back. Yeah. They're really, um, I mean, every day we smile. Willow just makes us smile every yeah, day. Yeah, same, same. Every single day. And, you know, she's just like a little angel. She's, she, and, and, you know, they've got it right. They just, you know, they keep it simple, keep life simple. They don't ask for much, no. just want, you know, love and a little bit of play and they're happy little campers. And That's I think it. we've got a lot to learn from them, have we not? I think you are speaking the gospel there. And, and like you say, you know, when you've had a bad day, 
Yeah. They're still there, aren't they? Pleased yeah, they to see are. you. And they know when you've had a bad day as well, because they, they can yeah, sense it. They'll they come can. and give you a hug or a you know, cuddle, and, and it's like, oh, man. Yeah, you know, if I had a bigger house, a lot of land and a lot yeah. more money, I would probably have about 10 collies. Oh, I absolutely. Think. If I came into money, I'd be the eccentric <laughs> animal lady. Yeah, I'd have the caftan <laughs> and the, uh, <laughs> the wind chimes. Yeah, yeah, that'd be me. Yeah, eccentric animal lady recluse with yeah. our animals. Yeah. It's sure. like that lady. Do you ever watch um, the Yorkshire Vet? Oh, I haven't seen that one, no. Uh, it's, it's on um, Channel 5. I don't think it's on at the moment. I can't yeah. think of the lady, lady's name, but there's a lady on there, and she's um, so eccentric, and she lives on this farm, and uh, she's got... I mean, you name the pet or farm your animal, and she's got it. Oh, and, wow. and whenever, if the vets get, you know, brought in an animal which, yeah. um, you know, has, has, has been found or whatever, and they can't yeah. find a home for it, they take it to this lady, <laughs> and she just takes it in she and looks after it. just them in. There's another one. Yeah, yeah come another on. one. Off you go. Yeah. Oh, love it. Yeah, that would, be, that would definitely be me, <sighs> for sure. Uh, just whilst we're watching you, there's loads of question, uh, questions and comments coming through. Uh, Jeanette says, every time I watch Sheena, I'm amazed at how easily she breaks down the process and makes it look so easy. Um, Julie well, says, Willow yeah. is so super cute. Uh, Michelle yeah. Gibbs says, hi Ben and Sheena and everyone. A lot of Vera was filmed here in Blythe on the quayside and in the town. Uh, Whitley Bay and Seton... I don't know how you say this. Seaton Sluice. Seaton Sluice. Yes, absolutely. And that's the nice bit when you don't live in the area anymore and you look at it and you go, oh, look, it's Willie Bay. I've been there. And yeah, it's yeah. fab. Yeah, spot Seaton that. Sluice. Also, spot the fake Geordie accent is a good one as well. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. Get me on, producer Zavira. I, I could do a fake Geordie accent. You could, yeah. Right, yeah, like. Everybody does a really excellent, way right, yeah, man. But yeah. Just like that. Yeah, yeah. What you doing, Vera, like, man? Do you, yeah. I'm gun. I'm, I'm gonna now a seat and sluice now, like. Like. I hope I, mean, I don't get murdered, Vera, like. If you put a like or a man on the end yeah. of it all, you're usually good to go. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I've got that there, and I'm going to put some little bling on here now. So I'm going to pop a little bit of glitter. I don't know if you can help with this, uh, Sheena, at all, but Pat's asked, I don't know if there's anything you can think of, but she says, I've got a question. She uh -huh. says, I have a shaky hand and I go over the lines when I paint. Uh -huh. um, so is there a way to highlight, what is the best way to highlight the outline again? If you stamp it in boss, if you go right up to the line, because it's a raised and boss line, it'll push the ink back a little bit. It makes okay. it easier to colour in. Yeah. It's, a de it's a definite um, a help if you can, if you emboss the line and also definitely emboss the line if you are using like a, um, a paint with a mica in it like okay. you know the, the um, shimmer watercolors yeah because it tends to um, sit on the line as well the um, the mica that's in there and it makes it look a little bit messier so if you um, emboss the line for that too yeah embossing is a help a big help for sure so um, I'm just what I've done is I've just popped some bling on those little flowers mm. and we'll cut that frame out so you can see what that looks oh, like. Yeah. You can see how the principle's the same. So you change the colour up. These could be stargazer lilies. If you're wondering about what how to colour them, just look online and look at lilies and look at pictures and use that as your reference because again if you're gonna try and make something that looks realistic, you need something to look at to do that. Okay? So let me show you how pretty that looks now. Oh, yikes. See, it's just that little bit of glitter glue, but if it's a good glitter glue, mm. you just need a little bit on there and tap it on there. Should we cut that frame out? Yeah, why not? What that looks like, and then um, you've really got the cards just about done, really. Stephanie just asked you as well, she says, Sheena, do you prep your stamps before using them first time, or do you just go right into it? Um, I do what I've done with that eraser, you know, mm. or I'll wipe them up with a little bit of, like, uh, washing up liquid or something yeah. like that. Um, but sometimes when I come to the show, I haven't brought mine, I've got the new ones um, at the studio, so they're always super sticky, um, so they're not well loved, like the ones that, you know, you, when you use them at home. Um, but yeah, the, the eraser or something like that would do it great. So we'll pop this through. Yeah. And have a look, and then and really the background, Lisa hasn't done anything to our, to our card there. She's literally just left that white card as it is. Um, so that's easy. That's a, a, a time saver. And then we've got in here that beautifully cut. Look at that. Look at oh, how delicate that is. That's so that good is. in the gold. Stunning, isn't it? So we'll pop that over there in a sec. Mm -hmm. But what I did as well, so I didn't waste the centre of this frame, is I've used it to pop the, um, the words out as well. Oh, uh, OK. So then we've got all of these. We've got, um, hello. Hello. Hey there. 
Hello. Hello. And then we've got thinking. Not very often, try to avoid it. <laughs> yeah, who wants to do that? <laughs> Sorry? Who wants to do who that? Who wants that? It Think. Never look to anything good in my book, Ben. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so thinking, hello. And then we've also got of... You. So can ah. you see how we, where we can go with that one? I might have lost me of. Oh, there it is. So we've got options on how we want to, um, and how you want to place them on your card as well. But a definite big tip here is get yourself that little fine glue applicator with a bit of tacky. Oh, I've just lost you. I've just lost you, Ben. Oh, lost no. Lost you. You it'll got be, it. You know, it'll be underneath the counter. Everything goes underneath the counter. If anything falls on the floor here, it goes underneath oh, the Oh, it's counter. there by your foot. Is it? I get it. Oh, thank you, Ben. It's there. Cool, beside my feet. You took your life in your hands, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those dainty little things. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, let me clear up this mess here. And then we will show you how that cord will just go together. Um, and then we can move on to something else. Have another little bit of play. And if you've got any requests, of course, any questions, keep them coming in. Yeah. Um, well, we're certainly very busy. Uh, lots of lovely comments still coming through. Um, <laughs> Wendy just said, Ben, please bring Molly in tomorrow. I have four dogs, so I, I will be buying the Pets Rule collection tomorrow. Um, I, I'll ask the question, and I, I mean, I won't just bring her in, because if I do, then no my luck, I'll probably just get in trouble. Uh, so I'll ask the question. Uh, and Laurie says, this is absolutely gorgeous, and I will be definitely trying this. Um, we are over, well over 30% of the stock of the collection gone now. We are actually approaching, I hear in my ear, 40 percent gone speedily oh speedily approaching 40 percent of the stock gone um is this on tonight on cutting me happy as well or we no oh, oh nicholas just nicholas just gone well it's gonna have to be like look how popular it is like it's gonna man. be on the night yeah man <laughs> well, yeah, like. um, so it is gonna be on tonight on uh, color me happy alongside the metallic markers um we've got flip markers on the show tonight too and does everyone still want to do the q a session tonight the uh, you know because we, we normally do beautiful beginnings don't we on a wednesday we do a central's corner does everyone want to end the show with the q a let me know and, we, and if we do we can kind of feature it more on colouring to keep in theme with the show um, but yeah give us a yay or nay on that one um, I, I'm obviously yay you are a yay I like the corner you know what and if it's on a colouring that's good as well because I know you think when you when you enjoy colouring that you forget that people are always wanting to improve their colouring techniques and blending and you know different materials and I think that's the, the base of like loads of paper crafting is the colouring aspect. Yeah. So right. So what? Now, I mean, obviously, this wasn't dry, so I smudged a little bit with the glue, and I could use a little bit more glue to stick that down. But that's what you would do. But considering we just did that in real time, that's a bit like a um, expensive, like kind of that jewellery, is it the really Sony jewellery or something? It looks, mm. it looks jewel-like and quite exquisite. And I have to thank Lisa for the inspiration for that colour com combination. Um, and what I would do then is let that stick. And then if you go around the outside, because you can cut them out with the frames, but you've got all those little bits then that you've got to put back in. So it's easier just to cut like this. Um, we could have put another die in there, but then it just adds to cost and time and everything. And this is so easy to do like that. Or you could leave it bigger and have the frame outside. But if you want it cut to size, you can see how easy that is. Yeah. Even for Sheena, no non-scissor hands. Sheena, non-scissor hands. You can do that. <laughs> the nice big pair of scissors so you get a nice long sweep at that and um, that's another another uh, technical demonstration there fantastic uh, Wanda says I was up at three and I got the two stamps I needed added to my basket I think a lot of people will do the same if you pick this up on HSN I think a lot of people then will add those lilies and the um, petunias to the baskets as well um, I thought I'd have enough for free shipping says Wanda thanks to the great price I had to spend a good amount of time trying to get my basket total up um, I got the illustrated embossing folders on a good deal they're coming up tonight on color me happy um, and lots to play with just checked out time for coffee and a catch up with Sheena and then um, we can if we if we don't do it in this show certainly tonight because Sheila's Sheila wants to have a look at the daisies um, in more detail so if there is anything that you want to see um, stamped then absolutely fire those um, comments in do you want to look at the boards um, and then we can well it's going to be nearly time for the final sort of 
demo, isn't it? We're nearly done. The show's flown over, absolutely flown. Uh, but here's all the stamps you're going to be getting within the collections. When I first read that on the back, I thought I said wind roses, but it definitely says wild, uh, beautiful wild roses. As you said, all of these stamps are... Oh, now I'm going to have to go and look, aren't I? Because I thought I'd got the number in my head, but I haven't. Uh, stamp sizes are about five and a half by four inches. Um, and we've discussed, of course, the frames. They will go through your MIDI if you've um, just got your manual um, die cutting machine. The Pretty Petunias, that's one stamp that you won't have. If you bought the set off HSN, this one wasn't available. So if you do want to go individually, you go for this one. And then you go for your luscious lilies as well, because that one also wasn't available. So uh, those are the two that you need to uh, jump in and grab if you want to complete your collection. Uh, we've also got, as far as the stamps are concerned, and I think my fave, uh, those beautiful, delightful daisies. So those are all of those fantastic stamps. Then you're going to get all of your dies in the set too. The frames are just great. And as we've discussed, whether you use these with this collection, whether you're going landscape, whether you're going portrait, uh, they are beautiful frames. Uh, and you know as a few of you have um, mentioned possibilities for paper piecing with these two if you wanted um, but they'll just work with so many other collections think about all those other stamps that these could frame that you've got in your uh, get in your craft room right now really versatile I love the fact that you've got all the sentiments in here as well in die form so you've got just for you you've got congratulations you've also got your best wishes in there too here's my personal favorite frame uh, I, I absolutely love this one i think it's a beautiful design love the fact that you've got all of those gorgeous sentiments in there as well lots of um, beautiful words that you can combine to create lots of lovely sayings so thinking of you uh, hello you thankful for you um what else could you do thinking of you uh, so thankful uh, uh, so hello oh, hello. <laughs> so hello just so just yeah <laughs> so. so dot 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 <laughs> um, I mean you decide you decide over 40% of the stock has now gone get yours now whilst we have still got stock um, you've also got your two embossing folders in here as well the five by, uh, five by seven these are that is the beautiful ginkgo leaves and please refer back to the start of the show if you um, haven't seen the demos with this because in the first hour uh, Sheena did some fantastic demos with this embossing folder which is the swirling leaves um, really really fantastic so do go back watch pick up those ideas as i've said the best value for money is to go for the full collection brand new 40 percent of it has gone um but if you are one of those people that maybe picked uh, this up on hsn you don't have those two stamps as we said the lilies and the petunias so you can pop those in your basket individually or if you're on a bit of a different budget or if you just want to sort of dip your toe in the water and try out a couple all of the items are available for you individually just hit the shop the show button and you'll be able to pick and choose and make your own little mini collection however if you're sold on the idea uh, then you can go for the full set today 10 percent saving and of course uh, you're going to get your club inspired discount as well if you're platinum that is 56 pounds or 68 dollars uh, uh jeanette shirley says sheena thank you for showing us how to boost our cards um, i actually think i could try that and just generally lots of people saying um, how much they love this collection and are jumping in and getting ready to grab it we've got not long left sheena about 15. okay what do you reckon we can do well let's make an amazing card okay. as quickly and as simply as we possibly can now i'm saying that because um, part of it's already been prepped, so that's a fair cop. This is um, Pamela's cord, and I just think it's gorgeous. Look at that. Isn't that elegant? Mm, I love absolutely. it. I love the black, because that does look like wrought iron. Yeah. So what Pamela's done, she's cut that same frame that we've been using out of black for me. She's stamped, pre-stamped, as you saw me just do now, with the um, gold embossing powder, and cut it to size to fit the frame. And I'm going to colour that in. That's what we're going to do. We're going to colour that in. To prepare the base cord, she's run some white cord through um, the embossing folder and used part of the frame on there so that when this guy goes over the top like that, with that, you're going to see that and it's going to join it up like this. How yeah. cool is that? So you just have a play with it. That's what dyes and, and stamps yeah. are for. Cut them up, have a bit of a play. But like I said also, I want to do this as quickly as possible i'm going to bring some i'm even going to splash out and turn me pay i was going to use new but we haven't got time for that the water's there so you can see we're going to do most of the coloring 
Well, we're going to try and just do three pens. What? And make that look cool. Okay. So wildflower. What I would say is if you want a lot of contrast, um, and but you don't want a dark flower, all you're going to do is use the darkest colour, but vary the amount of water you're going to use. So we're going to practice on one of these larger um, leaves, petals first. So I'm taking, so notice how much water I'm taking off the brush, right? I'm dabbing it. I've wet it. I've sat a point, but I've blotted most of the water. So I've got just about almost concentrated colour on my brush here. And I'm going to pop that colour there. I could do more than one, but because I don't know how absorbent the card's going to be and how long I've got, I didn't want to go too far ahead because if I do, it could grab. So can you see how I've just now added a little bit of water and then I've got that really nice dark at the base of these flowers and I'll do this whole bit here together now that I know that worked nicely and then wet the brush take off the the color and most of the water and just little circles just to encourage that color to come out a little bit more and then just water at the very edge of these petals and then you're going to get that lovely um, variation from the deepest at the center to the edges of them without having to pick up lots of pens or work at it and just it's just a formula that's the formula stick to the stick to the path lad stick to the path. stick to the path lad <laughs> i love that film it's just the gritty, the, the gory bits i don't like that's uh, is that american wolf in london it is american wolf in london i yeah. have everything in my head has a reference and usually i try to keep it back but now and again like that they slip out babe <laughs> but, yeah not one I've seen that often, to be honest with you, no. but I, I, I got the reference. Yes, thank you. It's a classic reference, though, isn't it? I it is, a, people, yeah, it's it not, is a, yeah, a classic reference. Quite a bit. Fair cop. So now, can you see how now? And then you, if you want to, you can go over with some little um, strokes if you want to um, kind of give it more, if it's, it looks a bit fuzzy or you want to give it more of a look of veins in the petal. But how quick and easy was that, right? So that's what you're going to do. Let's see how quick we can get this done now. Oh, I'm going for it. I'm pushing it here, Ben. Go win far. Gold. Woo. Go win for, go win yep. for, go. Yeah, you remember that, that as it, well. Wasn't it? What am I? Yeah. Henry Kelly, wasn't it? Yeah, yes, exactly. Used oh, be, wow, yeah. Used to be on on uh, afternoon. It was one of those shows I always used to enjoy watching them if I was off sick from school. Yes. Uh, going for gold on after the one o'clock news on uh, BBC One. Yeah, people from, people from all around Europe, wasn't it? Competing yes. against each other. Yes, I remember the theme tune. Funny, you remember the theme tune sometimes, but you don't know the show sometimes. The heat is right? on. The time is right. It's time for you, for you to play your game. Yes, that was it. Wow. People are coming. Everyone's trying, trying to do the best that they can because <laughs> they're going for going for <laughs> gold. <laughs> yeah. What? I'm having flashbacks now, definitely. I mean... That was a show. Look that up in the gallery. It's gone very quiet in there. Yeah, they're seen. like, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh, bring it back, what? bring it back. We've lost them. <laughs> what always used to make me laugh about that is, again, like the, um, the, the people from England were hopeless in yeah. that. And it was, it was a quiz in our language. And then oh. you get people coming over from other countries, wouldn't you? Like Sweden and oh, France yeah. and Belgium. And like all, all of the other people would be beating the English. It's like they're beating us at a exactly. quiz which is in our own language. Well, it was like, you know, I love Father Ted, right? And, and so there's loads of references there. And there was the quiz host on that. And it was a similar one. And so like the English guy was like, OK, so what's the capital of London? Yeah. And it's like, yeah. And it's, you live there. <laughs> 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 and still didn't get it. Yeah. Brilliant. So funny. Oh dear. Um, always save Sheena Show, says Beth, um, to reference back later. Beth, have you got us on the big screen? Was it you? I think it was. On, are we still on the 75 incher? Um, Pat says, I just love uh, this technique, Sheena. It makes the flowers look so real. Uh, and lots of love for the frame dies coming in um, as well. I think safe to say, War Sheena, this has, yeah. been a, uh, this has been a big hit. Oh, thank you. I'm pleased you like them because I love flowers. I always love flowers. I love nature flowers. But it's nice to give them a style. Style them out, you know. Let's get with it on of all. There's things you have to do to, to keep that. It's easy to draw uh, like a, you know, something that is what it is. Is, but if you want to make it look, um, it, it, design it towards a, a theme or a, a, a kind of a, a, a movement or a look, 
you've got to be quite you know consistent and careful on how you do that and mm. i was quite pleased about that so you'll find everything they all flow they're all very organic there's a you accentuate the movements more in the petals and the flowers and the leaves and then with a very fine sinuous kind of like um you know foliage and, and framework around it that all mirrors that art nouveau look which uh, you know I, I obviously i love i like art deco but i'm more of an art nouveau person so Art Deco is the one, you know, that's more like lines and hard, you know, like 1920s, 20s, angular yeah. kind of thing. Um, and it was completely the opposite look of Deco, which was all nature kind of um, inspired. And Deco was more to do with like the influence of uh, industry and like ships, you know, the, the, the strong lines on there. Um, but yeah, so we're going to pop a little bit of colour in the, in the centre like that. Look at how quick, look at how we're just getting through this like that. Just that, just use the pen for that. And bear in mind, we've used two pens so far, and I'm going to try and do the whole of the greenery with one pen. Okay. Just to show you how we can... Um, one pen. Just one pen. Pen. Painting in, in the darkness. darkness. Oh, wasn't that lovely? We should have had your lighter on there, hang it swaying, or your phone. Oh, that's what they do now, isn't it? They get their phones in the air. Yeah. <laughs> do you think we need to just be let out a little bit more often, Ben? Just a bit more often. Oh dear. 45% uh, of the stock's gone now, the collection. 45, that was very London, wasn't it? 45, 45. mate. 45. Lappy, 45, roll up, roll up. Get Lappy your collection. 45, treacle. <sighs> yes, my lady. Get your stamp here. Yeah. Lovely 45, gone. No, nice little 45%. Don't hang around. Yeah, <laughs> very busy. Um, Cindy says, what Sheena can do with one brush and one marker always <laughs> amazes me. That's all she needs. Just Take two one. markers to our craft room. No. No. Just the one. What? Narrowing it down to that, yeah. That's it. Minimalist. <laughs> Minimalist, yeah. <laughs> That is, that is definitely the, the thing. I once uh, did a show, I have to tell you, Ben, I once did a show once on a channel, on a TV channel, and they'd run out of paper, they sold out the card on the show, and they says, anything you can do without the card? I went, what? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I can think outside the box, but short of stamping on me, what? what are we going to do without card? Yeah. Challenge Sheena. Challenge Sheena, <laughs> yeah. Nothing I can do without card, I'm afraid. Yeah. Oh, dear. We've only got about five minutes left. You're kidding. We're not, we might not get this done then. No, oh, we can always finish it later on though, can't we? But we can. And you know what? You've got the idea. I think we've done enough here yeah. for you to see that that is absolutely possible with just the, what, the, what, three pens, three pens, and we are good to go. Oh, I've gone outside the lines there, Ben. See what made us do, Ben? Sorry. Oh, Ben, man. Ben, man. How oh, weird, Ben, man. How weird, Ben, man. What Look at that. Like? Look at the state of that. Look at the state of that light, man. Yeah, I'll get the talked about in the playground at break, mind. <laughs> but that's... So we'll come back to that. But look, I, I think look, if we look at across there, that's working, isn't it? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. You don't even notice the other bit that you haven't... Yeah, look, oh, that bit. Oh, yeah, colour. yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, and then we'll continue that later, to be continued. To be, yeah, Bam. so later on, we will do more with this collection, right? Oh, yeah. If, yeah. You, if you want to do that, oh, we could get the metallics in the mix. Why not? Ooh. Uh, what do we reckon, everyone? Let us know. I think probably that is what we're going to do. Nice to see the metallics being um, used alongside those. Um, Every time I watch Sheena paint, says Trisha Sell, I almost believe I can do it. It inspires me to try my best. Well, that's what we're here for, yeah. uh, and you can do it. That's the point. Give it a go. Uh, you know, anyone is anyone now is giving it a go. And having yeah. fun and having a bit of a play because do you know what go in with it with the attitude if you want to do it it's something that you want to do if it goes a little bit wrong it doesn't matter does it it's a bit of card that's what i think and say nothing nobody need know you know turn it over yeah i get and for you guys particularly you know when you're, you're doing it at home in the comfort of your craft room unless you're going to show it to anyone else no one's going to know anyway so have fun with it do what you want to do if you want this collection and you want to have a play and you want to have a go then you should absolutely do that and jump in and grab this today and the more you watch the more you tune in the more you uh, join us on sheena wednesdays and sheena thursdays next week uh, then you know the, the better you're going to get and it's one of those things right unless you get started you'll you'll never 
get better, will you? No, if you, if you sit on the sidelines and go, oh, I can't do this, I'm a bit worried about doing ah. it, then you'll never get there, will you? There's never been a better time for education, help and tuition mm. and, 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 and all this resource to have a go. This is the time. The time mm. is now. The time is now. Everything you're going to get. Do you want to show your boards or shall I, I show my boards? Show your boards. I show my boards. Yeah, mine are a mess around here. Yeah. We should have a board off. off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not that kind of board. Uh, right, uh, you're going to get everything we're about to show you here. It is time to start thinking about checking out because we are heading towards 50% of the collection gone. More people are going to shop in the two hours and then more people are going to shop with us later. So it's going to get uh, busier and busier. Uh, but you're going to get the swirling leaves. As I said earlier on, if you want to see these in more detail, go back and watch the first hour of the show. Um, no doubt it'll be repeated on CTV 24-7 if you did miss. But the two Two embossing folders you're going to get are five by seven. Love those. Again, um, potentially if we get time later on in Colour Me Happy, we can have a look at the Ginkgo Leaves embossing folder. But two fantastic embossing folders, which again, I think you're going to use within this collection and also uh, without it as well. The two frames you're going to get, well, the dies that you get with these as well are amazing. The Art Nouveau, love that. Whether you're portrait or whether you're landscape, it's just incredible. Um, you've got all those fantastic sentiments in there as well. So you can make your own bespoke sentiment you've got of thinking, hello, you, thankful, and so. You've also got in there the bold florals, entwined floral. Uh, so again, a slightly different frame there, but equally as beautiful as the last one with more of those sentiments too. So you've got just for and you, you have congratulations and you have the best wishes. And then you're gonna get all of your stamps in here, which I, I mean, they're just gorgeous as you would expect. You'd expect nothing less from our Sheena. Um, but there's the delightful daisies. I'll show you the other one which you'll already have as well if you brought this from HSN. So you'll have the delightful daisies and you'll have those wild roses. The two that you won't have are here. So you won't have the beautiful luscious lilies, nor will you have the pretty petunias. So um, if you've already bought the collection from HSN, best thing to do is go to the shop, the show page, you can snag those two as individuals. If you haven't got any of the collection yet and budget allows, obviously, then the best way to go is to get the collection because you get that 10% uh, saving. And of course, if you're a Club Inspire member, Platinum, this is your price, £56 or $68. Felicity Fletcher says, I vowed I wasn't going to spend any more money this month on crafts, but I've been sitting here watching Sheena and I'm addicted. Now I cannot wait for the collection to arrive. Uh, it's been a marvellous, it's been mar marvellous, my love. It's been a marvellous <laughs> show. Good game, good game, Sheena. Um, and we'll do more of the same later, but we'll, are we going to bring in those metallics then, do you think? Yes. All good. Let's play. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Uh, you, in the meantime, at home, do make sure you get your carts and your baskets checked out. Also, don't forget... You're not looking. <laughs> All right, mate. Um, in the meantime, don't forget to... <laughs> she just started stamping again. <laughs> the in the building shaking. <laughs> <laughs> in the meantime, uh, don't forget to head to the website. You can find everything that's coming up later on on Colour Me Happy. Uh, we've got these metallic markers. We've got flip markers on the show. Uh, we've also got metallic pencils. Loads of those um, uh, wooden ornaments and the letters uh, we've got from Creative coming up, uh, plus the illustrated embossing folders, which I know people have shopped for today. Uh, stencils. Royal Alangnickel brushes, uh, cards, so it's all there. Check it all out um, and fill up your carts, fill up your baskets. If you're a soft crafter, a sewist, do remember that we've got that special code running as well. As part of National Craft Month, NCM Sewing, uh, type that in and you'll get 30% off selected soft craft and needle craft goodies. It's all there for you on the website. Uh, Nanny to the Girl says, another great collection, Sheena. Thank you. Thank you to you guys uh, for a fabulous show. Thank you to Sheena. We'll be back in a couple of hours' time live at five um, and a massive thank you to the whole team for a fabulous show thank you to you for watching if you've got stuff in your baskets get them checked out and we'll meet you back here for color me happy at five until then